All right. The day has come. Right. For better or for worse. Sonic 06. We did our full one stream of Shadow the Hedgehog. That's as much as we gave that. <laughs> After Pretty Jack good. insisted that we play the entirety of Sonic Shuffle. This was a good decision. Oh, boy. <laughs> and Jack and I are joined by Sonic superfan, Sonic 06 apologist, Saucy. Saucy, yes. hello. Actually yes, the best is, Sonic game. This is my favorite Sonic game. Is it because of the plot? Is it because of the gameplay? It, not gameplay, definitely not. <laughs> okay, I, so the plot. I'm not unreasonable, okay? <laughs> I can admit that this was unfinished by a long shot. Oh god. I just don't think it's as awful as everyone makes it out to be, plot wise. Didn't Sonic didn't Sonic Heroes have a troubled production we found out while we were playing it? A little bit. Uh, I think I think Oh really? A bunch of GameCube games in general had uh Sega. Hello. Well <laughs> Ga the GameCube so era they shoved a lot of stuff out early, Nintendo game wise, with like Mario Sunshine. Me melee turned out was actually somewhat short. Yeah. There we go. They oh, were gonna get add that theme music. To melee, but they didn't. They weren't able to. Wanted to the add James Bond to melee. Yeah. The soundtrack oh, for this uh, game is good. I have bits of the soundtrack and I like it. Yes, it's it's good. It, it, and at worst, it's hilarious. All hail Shadow. Yeah, that, that is the single only Crush 40 song I cannot stand. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. Which is funny, because I'm a huge Shadow fangirl, as we all know. I think it sounds okay. <laughs> the lyrics are kind of silly, but... Oh, there's multiplayer! How? Oh, man, I, I should... If only I could, we could play this together, I want to see how multiplayer we go. <laughs> uh, uh, missed yeah. opportunity. Oh, well. Once again. Always right, paranoid let's... about audio levels at the start of a stream. Okay, episode. I, I guess we're doing episode select. We're playing through the storyline. And we only start with Sonic. We don't know about any other playable hedgehogs yet. Who? Yeah. Who are they? Okay. So how are we going to do this? Are we going to jump around? Or are we going to just, uh, just jam it in? Get it I, I don't know how this game works. I assume we do a whole story at once, right? I think there are times you could just switch if you uh, play through other characters. Well, I hope you spot. guys, I hope you guys don't plan to beat it in one day. So I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I don't think it took did. Nick. Yeah, no, it took Nick three streams to do it. Uh, the only people who beat it in one day were fucking. Uh, what was it? It was uh, Pokey Captain back in the old days of LP. It's the Sonic Poke. Basically, yeah. Hello, Elise. So this is this takes. This is like fantasy Italy, right? This is the only instance of religion in the Sonic universe. It's all it's all emerald worship. What? Oh no! We shouldn't have set the the oh, world. We have on a prophetic fire. vision, maybe. I'm triggered. No, no, you don't want to trigger the Iblis. <laughs> Like, imagine if you had known nothing about this game, you show up the cutscene, and you just tell him, yeah, it's Final Fantasy. <laughs> People would buy it. That's Eliza Thornberry, by the way. Oh, is it really? That's hilarious. Yeah. Wait, it is really? Yeah, Elisa's voice actress is, uh... Is her name Eliza? I think it's one of the Thornberry kids. Smashing. Oh no, where are the guards and military? Oh no, it's Jim Carrey. <laughs> oh no! Jim Carrey is here. Oh my god. Obtain the secret of the why. Yes. Now, princess, this way. 
the flames of disaster. Here, come with me. Get in the car, please. Come with me if you want to live. The music's so, kind of drowning out the voices. Yeah. That's how you know this is a Sonic Adventure 3. Mm -hmm. That's true. The adventure games were known for their uh, amazing audio mixing. Yeah, they just okay, so this, this is one of the things that I was bugged by. Is that when she looks at Sonic, she's like, she sees Silver for some reason. And then she later on, she's like, who the fuck is Silver? I don't know. And I feel like it was intended for her to see Silver when he goes into the past, but she doesn't. Oh. Uh, maybe maybe she's had a video of Silver. She's never seen a fucking movie before, so. Oh, so I'm going in <laughs> blind, by the way. I've never oh, yeah. seen footage of this game or. or... I kind of know about it because I was I had friends who were in the fan base at the time. Okay, I've seen two playthroughs of this game, so I know what's coming up, and uh, and I I, I will uh, I don't know. <laughs> then again, I kind of know what's coming up. Um, I can't help you gameplay wise, even if yeah, I knew I everything about. No I first saw it when I was like ten on YouTube. Uh, then I played it uh, when I bought my own copy in high school, and then uh, I was co-hosting with Nick when he beat the game on his stream. So I know everything that happens. Okay, so I was I was only half paying attention, by the way. Did Eggman show up <laughs> with a giant monster and then everything was on fire? No, he just he just shot no. everything with rockets, I think. Not not a monster. It's a they're robots. All right. So the giant monster was just a vision. Yeah, no, that's just in her head. Because there's a demon inside of her right now. Wait, well, no, spoilers. Don't spoil, it. don't spoil it. He's not played the game yet. I don't know nothing don't... about this. This is a no spoiler. You don't want to ruin the plot of this game. <laughs> well, now I know she's Naruto. Thanks. Yeah, she's Naruto. She's got the fox demon sealed inside her. <laughs> well, I... now that's spoilers for me. Wait. I have... See Naruto. It's episode one. It's the plot. It's the premise of the show. <laughs> Why does this kid have whiskers? I don't know. <laughs> it's like the opening narrative of Naruto. Hey, did you know Goku's a Saiyan? Okay, that actually is a spoiler. Because <laughs> we don't know that the first whole the whole whole first series. Piccolo no. is a Super Saiyan. <laughs> no, I'm a Yoshi. <laughs> My fellow Saiyan Piccolo. He had one job for kids. Oh, so this is the PS3 version. You could probably tell by the intro. Oh, cool. You're playing on the same version Poke Captain did when he did uh, this game all in one <laughs> setting, setting. Hopefully, this goes better than Kingdom Hearts 2 on PS3 did. Okay, so a lot of this is going to be... Bean! Bean. Alright, uh... Get, get, take no. a moment... Get a feel how this game plays, because I guarantee you, 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 it's the only chance you'll have to, like... And there's going to be points where you're going to be lost and the game won't tell you where to go. As a I'm camera. Be honest. That's nice. Uh, so... Are we in France? Think... No, this is, uh... I Soliana, think it's probably it's... based on Italy. Yeah, it's Italy. Like, you saw that there. It's, I said fantasy okay. Italy the first time. Oh, you can talk to people. So we're not going to see Ladybug, we're going to see Giorno. Yeah. Joe Gucci. We're oh, in man. the plot of the Pixar movie Luca. <laughs> We're gonna see fish people. Uh, B, hey. I think talks. I saw a I fox saw... with two tails over by the plaza. Yep. Right. So, Zero out of friends. ten. Can't pet the dog. Yeah. One of my friends once told me that one of the models in this game looks like me, and I was very offended. Oh, don't tell me what it is. I'll just leave it to my imagination. <laughs> Maybe I can guess. Hey, it's Lumberg. Wait, or, or me, alternatively. We haven't seen anything like that since the festival started. Does have the Italiano hands? Somebody once made that joke where they're like, they saw the, the two uh, Mario Brothers spouting gibberish at each other, and they're like, that's not an actual Italian. Their hands aren't gesticulating wildly. 
Oh, Your accent. Again. Where did you say you are from? Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> fast! You're from Frankfurt? Yes, I am a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know nothing else about that game other than that line. The money. Hey, who is that? Oh, it's a... Oh, gotta reload. So, apparently... Yeah, just jump... Jump right into his face. That's so. Fine. <laughs> lore of this game is that every time it loads, it's reloading the entire map. That's what that loading is. Uh, Charles and Darian, how are, how are the audio levels? I I tried my best, but it felt like either the music was blowing everyone out or we couldn't hear the voices. Oh, I should probably open the stream. I can't see chat. With your help, this which one, YouTube or Twitch? We're doing both of those now. Twitch. Thanks for the follow, uh, Fawn Elephant 24. I appreciate that. Find out where Dr. Right. Eggman's battleship went. Okay, now it's reloading the entire map again. Every time. It, this is where it's okay, it'll give loading. us time to bullshit. Yeah. Like, uh, let's talk about One Button Wonderland. I've never heard of that game. Is that game any good? It's it's good. Saucy has started playing Ball on Wonderland, which has come out yeah. and is apparently awful. It's it could be better. I'm gonna be honest. Like it's got a lot wrong with it. It seems there's danger over by the beach. All I hear is rumors, though. Who knows what's really going on? You know it what? Has... They look better than the humans in Sonic Adventure. Yeah. Hey, Thank yo! You. God. Wait, why is that other guy waving his hand? It's, you it's were... Mario and Luigi. It's Bob Hoskins and that guy who played <laughs> Luigi. Oh, no. I think they got a... Why did they get a young, sexy Luigi in the Mario Brothers movie? Because, because they need, they need to sell the movie. Yeah, this is my younger, my younger brother Luigi. He's twenty years younger than me. I mean, to be fair, Luigi is also like thinner and and like in the games than Mario, who's who's a bit stocky. Oh, this is this is this is a drug deal spot. Uh, hey tails, uh, no one's looking. You got the stuff. You got the stuff. You got the uh, got the chocolate. That's right, that's a controlled substance in Mobius. According to that one fanfic I read. What else did Which that posit? It, it, there was, like, there was no dogs in Mobius? Or is that what we said? No, that's what we said. Uh, that's what we joked. The other thing that that posited was that, uh, the taboo zones of the, Oh, that's uh, right. Of a, were the hands and the feet. That's why they have gloves and, uh, and, and uh, shoes and not pants and shirts. Uh, those were optional for Mobians. My name is Alberto Robert, and Alberto I've been making Robert. shoes in this town for a very long time. I'm making the ultimate shoes now. Alberto Robert. <laughs> Alberto. Just, this NPC was important enough to need a name. It's just too fucking... There's no one that can test the full potential of these shoes. Ah, oh, gee, mister, that's rough. I wish I could help. Oh, oh wait, I talk. can. I didn't think he was actually gonna give them to us. Well, no, we gotta test it out first, which means we gotta load the level again. No. Oh. You should talk to the shopkeep after this. Yeah, that's how. That's how you I it. promise good things. <laughs> what? Do, what does all this have to do with Joel Schumacher? <laughs> 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 If I've made the shoes correctly, you'll make it on time. That's cool. Thank you. Loading. <laughs> Gotta reload the map again. <laughs> Did so? Oh, what? Whoops. What do you know about this game's production, Saucy? Was this rushed? Uh, I actually don't know any in-depth details, but everyone says that it was rushed for the holidays. Yes. This and, was uh... supposed to be. This was supposed to be a very, very hard reboot. Uh, or actually not hard, soft reboot of the series, because there's there's things in continuity that don't apply here anymore. Uh, from what I heard like, is that uh, this game, very early on in development, it was originally supposed to be a Silver the Hedgehog game, but then they were they realized, wait a minute, Sonic's, uh, Sonic's anniversary is coming up. We, we need to make this about Sonic. 
But Silver did. This is Silver's yeah. premiere game. Why? Why would yes. you make a game about a brand new character if you're not Hideo Kojima? Um, because <laughs> Hideo Kojima's Sonic. This is Raiden. He's just as good. Raiden, <laughs> that game. But here's the thing: Metal Gear Rising was a great game. No, this I'm talking about Metal Gear Solid too. Raiden later redeemed himself, okay, like much yeah, later. Yeah. All right, you're right. Good point. P people were good. not a fan of Raiden in Metal Gear 2, though. Anyway, um, so... I think this is also the first game that uses Havoc. Havoc? The, the, the uh, physics engine that, uh, that is, uh, that was common in games at the time. It was like, hey, how do we have physics? Hey, I got this great new, uh, new, uh, physics uh, engine called Havoc. So it was it? Did I get any new powers, or was that just say, "Hey, I made these shoes"? Yeah. This, well, it, that this, that was a required mission. You had to do that. So. Well, I know, but I didn't like gain an ability because it felt exactly the same well, after you, as it did before. You gained the coin. You gained the coins to buy an ability. Okay. So he gave me a I new pair of shoes that's the... exactly as good as my old pair of shoes. No, the new pair of shoes allows yeah. you to like dash. Oh, wait, no, so the shopkeeper's over there, just talk to him. Hey! Alright. Oh. Ah, the he's got, like, uh, he's got Beats glasses. Yeah, you're right. Every time, every time you is talk it? to him, he says that. Is that, is that literally just, uh, just Dr. Dre? Over there? No, okay. <laughs> I don't think he looks the same. Is, is that how they sell this game, is by filling it with celebrity models? <laughs> and then they get pissed and they and they uh, track down Sega's headquarters and kick his ass. For... This... This game was supposed to get a Wii port, I believe. But because it flopped so hard, they decided not to do it. Oh god, this game running on Wii, that would be a disaster. The Imagine. Wii, it would... It would be even more broken. Now I'm disappointed All that right. you come out with it. I'd be like, <laughs> slide, <laughs> slide. I like how I like this how guy's this guy. amazing. By the way, he's able to stop Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Yeah, just well, no, Sonic's too nice. He's how'd you do that? Look, look at look at his hair, like uh, his, his spines in the breeze as he slides. Come on, do it again. They're they're too long. They are very long his in this game. His spines are. He needs a really haircut. Too long. He really needs a spinal trim. <laughs> They've shortened his spines a lot in the modern games in order to replicate his classic design. Yeah, here he looks. He looks like he. Uh, Wait, he so just, I, he look. I do a I do a homing attack and I drop like a brick. It doesn't maintain momentum like he, in Sonic Adventure Two. Yeah, that's. He looks. He looks like Riku in Dream Drop Distance. Trust, trust me when I say that the, that that thing you mentioned about the homing attack that's going to be the least of your problems playing this game. <laughs> uh. I, I, I'm going to just take this as a given that you don't know where you're going just yet. I'm just, I'm just wandering. This is a silver medal. Thank you. Okay, cool. Let me leave. So... You're dead. Is that uh, you're gonna lose a life? You're gonna lose a <laughs> no, you don't lose a life because you're in the city. That's fine. That's cool. Living in the city. You know, you have to survive. Living You've got life. to keep your dream alive. Super but can sunshine. you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Does it brighten up your day? Oh, you're talking about the wrong. Of all songs, I'm so, I'm so happy by Tails. I'm so happy that Sonic R music is in Smash. Sonic R music is pretty good. Also, you don't apparently get those when you play dash on them. <laughs> Let's get one more for the road. Oh no, he's, he survived. Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> oh man. Wave ocean. Gotta pursue the egg carrier. Gotta gotta pursue the egg carrier. Gotta go speed. Remember that one game 
whose plot was that Eggman had replaced Sonic's shoes and he could no longer run. Oh yeah. No. It was when like was a, this? It was like a puzzle game or something. On the oh, yeah. on an old uh, Sega console. I don't remember which. Alright. Probably the game gear. Might have been game gear. Alright. Doing well so far. You got through the first challenge. People die there. On the one where you're jumping through the red rings? Yes, and uh, I will say it's not their fault. Okay. Alright, you're, uh... Uh... Oh. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Cease. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's... You know about that, huh? We got... You gotta do it at least once. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't turn around. I'm forced to go the one direction. Tails! Tails, look, I've mastered gravity. <laughs> Tails, I think physics are fucked, buddy. Physics are a myth. So, so how's the game playing for you right now? Is it alright? I mean, it plays like a not very good Sonic 3D game. Okay, it's kind of what I expected. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're supposed to hit A there because there are certain times that you yeah. can just. Uh... I was like Sonic Adventure 2. I wanted Except to see what would happen if I didn't. To tell you. Just... I wanted to see if I would just stay there forever. No, not there because apparently it only works on loops. So this, what was the game where they started, uh, I have heard there's a point in the 3D Sonic games where they start just letting you run through everything. There's like a, a blue dash meter or something, right? I think it begins in, uh, generate. Careful, don't clip the rocks, that's a doozy. Could, could be Sonic Colors, might be Unleashed, because I remember that had a dash meter. I've played Generations, that's the only Sonic game past this point that I've played. It was okay. Why does he just U-turn like that? He just wanted to? Why? <laughs> I don't like this. I really... This... I wonder who that narrator is. Is this some random voice? Where's Omochao? What's he doing? Uh, Omachow did not want to be a part of this. He looked, took a look at how this game was turning out. He was like, no, fuck that. He got enough abuse in Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2, he's just like, I'm not... Also, I think Omnichow... <laughs> I like that better, Omnichow. Omnichow. Omnichow? I am the Omnichow. The god of all chow. Oh no! Uh, by the way, he is, like, stalled in the air for way longer after hitting a homing attack than other games. Yeah, it is very slow. This is like Ganondorf before he got his upbeat buff. Make this topical. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I, I, I'm not going to be ragging you on this game, because I know this game plays like dog shit, so... Yeah. I don't, I don't Whoa, enjoy, that's like, a big one. Controls. The orca is integral to the Sonic lore, as you can see. Weren't we chased it by an orca in a previous Sonic game? Jump. Jump. You didn't yeah, I thought jump. I was in the air. I thought it did jump. I thought that was the cutscene. I know. Uh oh. It was. The orca was also. <laughs> oh, yeah, Let's try again. Seven, which was probably it? means it was in Generation. Oh my god. <laughs> Probably. That, that's probably where I'd be remember it from. What was it? Level Sonic one. Adventure oh, 1. What are we running from in Adventure 1? I don't Orca. remember. Oh, Orca. it wasn't in Adventure 1? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so they just love Orcas. Whoop. Yeah, what, I don't why? know why they Sonic like why? this so much. Hey, you ready for, you ready for another character? Oh, okay. Your tails now. Oh yeah. <laughs> so which is, is I'm the main character now. <laughs> so this is the this is the four kids cast. This is after Shadow the Hedgehog. They started replacing voices, right? Oh scary. Yeah, this is the four kids uh, cast. 
I think Heroes had I like a weird interim cast between. Actually, actually, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, this is the first game where the four kids cast. Uh, the rings have physics. You oh, can no, like shove them around. Rings. Those are the dummy rings. They they don't you're not you don't collect them. They're just a weapon. Oh. Why? It might have been Shadow the Hedgehog. Know. I can't remember. Yeah, Shadow was. Did Shadow come out before this? Yes. Then, th then, then their debut game was Shadow the Hedgehog. That's, that's what I thought. Now, hey, the best part of playing any game: wrestling with the camera. Man, I've been playing old PS1 games. I'm just happy this has a camera. Oh yeah, that's right, you've been playing Croc and Emperor's uh, New Groove. Emperor's New Groove does have camera controls. It, it did a lot of things actually right for a very early platformer. Oh, uh, it's one of those uh, trends where they break the... It's one of those things where they break the trend of all the licensed games complete other dog shit. Disney has like a 50% success ratio with the licensed games, I think. No, that's, that's better than like most companies. Like Aladdin and Lion King famously were good games on Genesis. Oh yeah, difficult games as well. I just got shot and just no sold you know, it. It's fine. You can just ignore these uh, these enemies. Let probably. me in. Let me in. <laughs> well, you don't want to go in the lighthouse. You, you'll get attacked by Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. There was a new movie coming out with them. No, that was already out. Oh, no, it's already it was out. The lighthouse. It's 2019. It's uh, yeah. It's uh, if you want to see Edward Cullen and Green Goblin interact. Then, then that's then, then you watch that movie. Why can I not get on top of here? Is there an invisible wall? Oh no. No, there is. Yeah, the the invisible wall is the control scheme. Meanwhile, Sonic's just hanging onto that the rail of the orca. Why? Well, okay, Tails cannot damage things by spin jumping into them. Hey, cool! You did it. Good job. Unlike every previous game in which Tail was, Tails was controllable. No, because you got the dummy ring bomb, you gotta use that, because Tails is a weak one. Despite being a Mobian, therefore a Saiyan. What the fuck? Ignore that's the a... fact that that Orca could easily just swim under that, and that did nothing. No, the Orca has to be over the, the water, because they, they have the lung capacity of 10 seconds, remember? It was smashing through <laughs> giant stone pillars. Is that, like, a gate gonna stop it? Yes. Darn! <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Good luck. Welcome to the mock speed section. Oh, this is the worst part of this game. This is the worst. This is actually the worst part of it. Can't stop, won't stop. And so far, I like it better than the other, the previous parts. <laughs> of course you would. Oh no. Any single tilt will just cause Sonic to just go fucking careening in that direction. Yeah, well, so get good. have a light touch. Lighter than a feather. Oh. Motherfucker, I play Ganondorf. I have no subtlety. I just realized something. You gotta save soon. This game has no autosave. Oh. And as much as I'd like for you to be like, wait, what? Wait, I Sonic like can't it. jump into things either? No, not, not in, with lock speed mode. What are you? Well, he's- I was doing, like, the jumpy spin, he can't- Oh, no! <laughs> no, that's Knuckles. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no. If you die here, you're gonna have to restart the entire thing all over again. Oh, really? Yeah, because you didn't save. Well, I just tried to. I can't go to the- I, I can only save on the overworld, I guess. I guess so. Uh, I didn't remember that Croc 1 apparently operated on Sonic Health. Like, you get hit and you lose all your gems and you gotta collect more. Uh, it's a very interesting way to do, uh, health. I don't remember if Croc 2 did that or not. I'm so glad I don't have to play this. This looks... this looks spreadsheet. It controls no worse than any other part of the game so far. It's just that there's a lot of stakes in this in this part. You're gonna want to pull pull left. Don't jump. I have no you aerial jump. control. 
You should. Never you don't. You jump. didn't need to jump. Just, just go left. Don't jump. Because if you jump, you're not gonna make that turn. Yeah. Apparently, Sonic cannot move in the air while, uh, while jumping. Well, in mock, in mock speed <laughs> mode. Tails, this, stop this, this is, crazy this is, thing. This is the worst gameplay that this game has to offer. That being said, I think this is an example of why people complaining about, like, oh, Sonic doesn't actually move at the speed of sound. Like, you can't integrate that properly. I think... There's no though. way to... Con I think the cool, yeah. a cool physic, a cool mechanic to be in a Sonic game would be, like, super hot. Where ki time kind of slows like down in to relation go... to the player. Oh, yeah, cool. like, some quicksilver shit, like, in the movie. But, like... Uh, if wow, you actually doing worse. had him moving, if you actually had him moving at that pace in the game, it's just pretty much what it would look like. <laughs> like, it doesn't I'd love work. some rings. There we go. One. There should be a button which allows you to move at the same speed as you always do, but everything else is slowed down. Yeah. That'd be a way to do Sonic. I love the. Yeah. I love those Quicksilver-esque scenes in the movie. Those and, are uh, oh, you mean in uh. In uh, the, the second Marvel the Avengers movie. No, okay, the I'm Sonic not gonna movie. jump. He does, he, he does Quicksilver shit in the Sonic movie. Quicksilver, oh, the Marvel Quicksilver, character. Right? Yeah, he's uh, he's basically uh, evil uh, evil mutant Flash from Marvel. Yeah. It's like you know, Flash. That's Quicksilver. It was me, Barry. I jerked Remember. you off at super speed. Don't. Tur don't <laughs> jump, just turn left. Don't jump, don't jump, don't... Okay, good. Well, I didn't jump, but I have no rings now. Lola. Ah! I... I redesigned just Lola just Bunny, just Barry. It was me. And then, and then it was Batman me all along. So zero <laughs> rings, zero lives. That was so close. The anxiety. <laughs> this game is anxiety. It's like watching an A24 film. <laughs> It really does look like someone just took his spines and stretched them like Play-Doh. That was a B rank? Wow. Oh, hey, Goji. This game sucks. It doesn't have the Chow Garden. <laughs> that's the only thing that stops it from being a full Sonic Adventure 3, isn't it? <laughs> oh, sure. It's got everything else. All right, L time to load. Man, what if the Sonic? <laughs> what if the Sonic Mania guys suddenly dropped a reference to Void or Lumina? That catch oh, no. people off guard. You, they, you, and after all that, I still wish didn't they catch. would. That scowl on Sonic's face. You were going that fast and you still didn't catch up? This whole thing was for nothing. That was a Sasuke Uchiha scowl. How, how is he going to catch up on the ground, exactly? Why aren't you flying he, a plane? The, the, oh, didn't he crash that in uh, Sonic Adventure 1? He still has yet to fix it, I guess. He was testing Chaos Emerald Big, Power. Big the Cat... Uh, ruined the tornado too when he took it to get off the egg fleet. You, it's impressive that he got it down to the ground safely, though. You gotta give him that. Yeah, it is. Saucy, what is what is your opinion on Big the Cat? I think people hate him way too much. He's just he's just a big lovable oaf, and I like I like him for that. I, I like the, the, the character I get... like idea. I don't like the voice. I can't help I you! The... I get that the fishing sections are annoying, but it's not that hard once you figure out the controls. Shadows of Eggman. Nice. He's, got, he's got the same sil problem Silver does. His debut was botched horribly. Y yeah, did Silver ever come back? I think it's more that people just he see does. Big as, like, kind of a waste of a character, like Waluigi. Silver doesn't come back in a mainline game as a main playable character, I guess. He's just cameos and spin-offs and DS versions of mainline games. 
Okay, here's something else I do know about this game. I know that Blaze yeah. appears. She's posited in uh -huh. this game to be from the same, like, timeline or whatever as Silver, and then they retcon that later. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. That's correct. What was the what was the official what, media what, that what, said what go on? What they were planning was for this to be a prerequisite to Sonic Rush, but they changed it later because well, you know. <laughs> not a great reception. I'm, I'm so they just forward. trashed that. Well, you can't even put like a, a cuttable tree or something? Anything as to why I could not walk so, through here? Yeah. So the implication originally was going to be that Blaze wasn't even born in the Soul Dimension. But they changed that, so... It doesn't matter anymore. What was the official media that stated in Japan that Blaze had, like, a breast complex? That's a thing in Japan, but no, they got rid of that in America. What the fuck? That she she's like she's self conscious I... about her chest size. Wait, who is? I mean, I believe it, but Blaze the cat. I've never heard of it. Okay. I've seen someone unironically ship her with Big the Cat, and I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know why not. It's as good as any think... other Sonic character together. They're both. I don't th I they're don't both think cats. They... This is Mob it's Mobius, man. They, they, they've they eliminated problems of racism. Like, if a hedgehog wants to get with a cat, or a cat wants to get with a frog, then, then hey, man, just, just but, let it happen. But this is a cat and a cat, Jack. See, I've... I've oh. shown weird ships to Nick before from the Sonic fandom. He's like, no, that's definitely ironic. I'm like, you don't know how awful this fandom used to be. <laughs> awful? Or still you, is, honestly. Awful, you mean hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Did you kill them all? I, I don't you know. I no, you apparently not. Oh. Oh, there's more over there. Oh, the map. There's a mini map. That should help. Well, I say that, but oh, look, there's more. I did not, in fact, notice the mini map until you pointed it out. Mmm, that frame rate on dedicated hardware too. This is a console. Yeah, yeah the more enemies that are on the the now more imagine enemies the Wii that version. are on the screen. Oh, no. The more enemies no. that are on the screen, the more it lags. Oh, they did the heroes thing where some enemies have multiple hit points. Yeah. Yeah, and with the, with the fucking... And, and, you know, with with the combat this good, you want the fights to last longer. And the game can't physically handle too many, like, things being on a screen at once. It was from the game script. This game? We were we we're already working on that lady. Yeah. Man, not my day. I, I did worse on that than I did the mock speed one. Apparently. No. Imagine the people Man, who took this the time. Just isn't my day. Imagine the people who took the time to get S rank on every mission in this game. Someone had to do it. The completionist did it. Oh, did he really? Yeah, and there was no reward. It's just a hey, good job, man. Pat you on the It's back. just a gold medal on a screen. That's it. You don't get nothing. Fine. So, uh, Saucy, where are we going next? Did you hear? They say the way to the I desert don't... was closed off because Eggman showed up there. You don't I know. I don't you're... have a walkthrough. There's a desert right outside of, of 
fake Italy. Isn't there a desert in Italy as well? Oh, wait. I'm sure you don't step outside a town and it just turns into desert, though. Hey, save. Remember to save. Yeah. You don't want to do this again. Dr. Eggman has been seen in the desert, so we're limiting. At Wait, sorry. Lord Regis? Lord Regis. <laughs> Regis Philbin? Cue Reggie noises. Da, da, oh, yeah. Breakdance. Have you collected a lot of rings? They just got a new shipment of stuff at the shop. Okay, I, I opened up a walkthrough. It says you have to buy an anti-gravity upgrade from the shop. Yeah, I was gonna go to the shop next. Anti-gravity. All right. I'm finding out. We're talking to NPCs. <laughs> yeah, go to go to Doctor Gray. Hey, can I get some anti-gravity swag? Hey. Hey. Just... Oh, you need it. Okay. What a limited selection. Allows you to use sliding. By sliding, you can attack enemies while moving. Yeah! And then it says, then it says you need to go to Town Hall. But I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, it's not... <laughs> There's no sign. It says Center Northern Area. <laughs> Just find the fanciest what? building Tails and died. find it. What the fuck is north? There's no compass. <laughs> I'm the town's accordion player. Here's a song for Princess Elise. I hope she's okay. Man, everybody loves the... <laughs> everybody loves the princess. By the way, saving a princess, that's... isn't that usually Mario's stick? Yeah, but everyone's gotta do it. This, this was recycled from, uh, they originally had a character named Madonna that they were going to oh. have in the Sonic series. <laughs> But they they cut her out because it wasn't needed. Yeah, Sonic was well, originally going to have a busty blonde human girlfriend. Named Madonna. Yeah. Wait, or was it actually? Yeah, the... her name's Madonna. The Madonna. Okay. Yeah. Now. Yeah. The kids climbed all you the way up there. Go... I'm one, I'm, I'll figure it out. I'm talking to people. I gotta stop a suicide. This is very important. Every little thing that you You gotta say slide under that wall I'm over there. Up. I'm you guys aren't going to let me experience the game at all. <laughs> Alright, see, that would have told me. Well, we're never going to progress. Yeah, Saucy is losing her patience with my bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club, Saucy. You'll get used to it. I I'm, I'm sorry that this game doesn't tell you what to do ever. <laughs> well, that's you, Have you never played a game from before 1999, Saucy? You got to talk to NPCs and figure shit out. She's a... Is she a Zoomer? <laughs> no, she's not. You're not a Zoomer. You're a Millennial, right? And so are we. Yeah. I don't feel like I count, to be honest. For a Millennial or a Zoomer? You're, like, in between? I don't know what I am. I don't really care, because I don't like either. You don't like Millennials, and you don't like Zoomers. So you're a... Uh, you're and I don't like Boomers. And I don't like Boomers. La lady, nobody likes Boomers. <laughs> I'm sorry. This this lady, I want to get her face again. She looks like Dana Carvey. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, I need to get Lord Reggie's approval. I need to talk to him in his native Reggie speak. Oh, that's Lord oh, Reggie's. Shit. Yeah, see the top hat. That, that's how you know he's a lord. You want you to go to the desert? Just let the soldiers know that you're heading out. They say Eggman headed out that way. Why do you think I'm going out that way, old man? I guess this must be a reboot, because no one recognizes Sonic. Like, hey, you're that guy who stopped Eggman 20 times. Well, nobody's freaking you... out by him either. I guess they, they're aware of what Mobians are. Do you know the story of Sonic Adventure 2? I do. Okay, so Maria doesn't exist anymore. Oh. Wait, Maria? No, why? Shadow's you... original back. Shadow's original backstory doesn't apply in this game. 
So, so Shadow's just another Mobian in this universe. I'm sure we'll get, but I know they Shadow's playable. I'm sure we'll get explain. Shadow. More. How did you? He you just he just found her. Yeah, they don't explain where Shadow came from. It's just that it's rebooted so that she doesn't exist anymore. I guess I guess Shadow's just another Mobian. Man. He's just like, yeah, my Mobian father still be uh, like Eclipse a... and my Mobian mother Luna. You could still be like a government He doesn't talk experiment. about. Yeah, he doesn't talk about where he came from or his existence. Shadow's the Captain America of Mobians. <laughs> There's still an un. There's still an underlying theme about him being the ultimate weapon, so I assume it it was a G Okay, that could that could be just because the government trained him. He's like he's like fucking he's like fucking the Nick Fury of uh of whatever government agency he's working for. Is it still gun? Yeah. Okay, cool. So he's I believe he's, that's what he's Nick it. Fury, agent of gun. That that dog's Shut got up. a lightsaber <laughs> on his head. Alright, you ready for a boss battle? Who are these two? I don't know these characters. It's just the same guy. They all look the same. Is Amy going to do the thing where she finds Jill Silver and be like, Oh, Sonic! It's depending on your, your in-game karma, you turn into the left or the right character. <laughs> it's like good Cole and evil <laughs> Cole. It's like the good chow, bad chow system. Yeah. You either turn into Shadow or Silver. If you get touched by Eggman, you turn into Shadow. If you get touched by Elise, you turn into Silver. <laughs> you get either psychic powers or guns. <laughs> Let's let him figure it out. Let's mm. let him die a couple of times before we tell him how to finish it. I'm getting Which flashbacks to that uh, Rock of Ages boss. The Sphinx. Yeah. I, I, I will say that... Uh, well, no, I don't know. The Cerberus is actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Well, he's got a big glowing thing on his head, but that looks like he can impale me, so I don't know if I want to touch it or not. But, I don't know why it's called a Cerberus, because it's not... It's only got one head. Heads. The name Cer Cerberus. <laughs> Egg Eggman, why'd you call it a Cerberus? It only has one head. There you go. No what is what Sonic game. loves to ride things in this game? <laughs> Woohoo! Make him oh, ride something. Oh yeah. He failed to make him hit something. Also, Eggman's got to stop oh, designing right. creatures with rails on their bodies. No, that's that's how that's how you get the power. The through Bioshock it, so. Blizzard wasn't his design for sure. The Bio Blizzard, he just adapted his uh, his. Uh... I don't know. Time travel exists. We don't know that. Okay, yeah, true. I just realized something. Uh, Sonic uh, multi the Sonic has multiple universes. The Sonic uh, verse has multiple universes, right? It's um, got, like, the soul called... dimension, right? Only... But it's not called... But it's not called uh, multiple universes. They're called zones. Those aren't universes. Those are just, like, areas. But no, don't they, call they specifically zones the call them... Don't they specifically call it the soul dimension? So you're talking about comic, con comic continuity is totally separate, Jack. You can't lump all that together. Uh, yes, no, I comics can. aren't canon. The Archie comics are not canon. Unfortunately. I just think... I just think it'd be funny if, uh... If, like... Because there was a, 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 an alternate universe, Sonic, called Zonic. He was a zone cop. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And Shadow was and his there, there was partner, scene, I think. And there was a there was a scene in the comic at that exact place where uh, his anti-sonic scourge gets like escorted away or something, and you see Mephilus and uh, Void sitting at a table together in prison <laughs> outfits. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> and Mephilus is like, God, what's his problem? <laughs> I'm just gonna. I, he, I, I pretty. It's pronounced Mephiles, isn't it? Mephiles. No, it's I Mephiles. Thought. Everyone in this game says Mephiles, so his name is Mephiles. Okay, that's odd. It's derived from Mephistopheles. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, call I him know. Phyllis. I'm gonna call him Memphis, Tennessee. What you? Word? That's good what too. You, what you talking about, Phyllis? 
<laughs> you actually fought that boss pretty cleanly. I'm impressed. I, I think it's like one of the easier bosses, though. There's no egg carrier. <laughs> I don't remember how much I spent on this game. Obviously, I, I got this on like Amazon used. If you spent more I than twenty bucks on it, I think I got it for thirty dollars. Oh. At least you didn't get it for sixty. Maybe fifty. Oh no, fifty's fifty's too much for the for this game. Nah. Honestly, this isn't as bad as I was price. expecting. <laughs> I I wouldn't oh. want to spend a lot of money on it though. It's not unplayable. It's oh not... yes. Cleared act mission. Yes, I'll convert Zorog yet. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go we're gonna leave this game really like, huh this is actually i'm surprised you got through those mock speed sections pretty pretty decently like yeah like it could have been oh, wait hold on our robots will blot out the I've sun always... How long is this gonna uh, i've always given this game a this seven way. out of ten is it seven seven and a half no <laughs> seven out of ten <laughs> Uh, you don't know. I was referencing uh, when when uh, what's his name, Randy Pitchford, was like defending aliens, colonial marines for being garbage, and he's like, oh, it was a seven, seven and a half. When it was way worse than that. See, now back in the old days of when I first watched someone play this game, there were cutscenes in which the 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 scene would lag, and the audio would finish, but the character was when wasn't finished speaking. So it looked like they were talking, even though they were done talking. Now that sounds like but a Sonic Adventure play... game. But when I played it, it didn't do that and in those scenes. So I wonder if it's just the recording software that causes that to happen. Isn't, I think this version is considered better than the 360 one, right? I, th I think that's the case. Oh, that might be why. Okay, I played the PS3 version. And you did. Why can't I walk on sand? Wait, it's when sand. Was the last time? You gotta do that boss again. No, I say it may it asked me to save after the boss. Oh, okay. Alright, good. Wait, see if the other ones are unlocked. I, I just did, they weren't. Damn, okay. She has no real issue with Sonic carrying her all the time. He just picks her up without asking. She's like, oh, oh these Sonic. are my favorite These are my favorite kind of levels, because they talk to each other. How long is this gonna go on? So, uh, Eggman is attacking Elise, and she's just on the run, right? That's the plot. Yeah, he wants he wants her for a power she has. He wants to, to do like something that she has, and uh... Sonic with a scowl and a thumbs up gives me Jotaro vibes. Jotaro. <laughs> yere yere days. <laughs> That's how he oh, no. would pronounce Dio. it. Dio! Hey, Dio, Eggman. that's... You thought Amy's first kiss would be with you, but it was me, Shadow! Oh, no! Oh, that, does that make silver? Chaos Jotaro? Control! Oh, there's uh, more sand. R1. You yeah, have one, to... R1. Yeah. Oh, okay, I can glow. Woo! You can't, you can't walk on the sand. You can't walk on the sand without Radical! You, you have to do it on the sand. I just... I just said... I, that's <laughs> why I tried to jump over it, saucy! You have to use R1 to walk over sand. Oh, this is the do fucking anything button. You, you're... Okay, good. The, the Sonic yeah, franchise yeah, is just Sonic slowly awakening as an elder god. <laughs> Discovering all these new Being powers he didn't god, know he had. You're basically describing... Being an uh, elder god has has become to not mean much, honestly. <laughs> oh, I can still homing attack while carrying her? Yep. You're just using your feet, bro. Yeah. Yeah, girl, you impressed yet? <laughs> Oh, Sonic, you're so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem! Oh, oh, he, oh, he saved it! Yeah! yeah. Oh, nope. <laughs> no, no, you're off course forever. <laughs> okay, that, you're back. Alright, let's try that again. Ah! 
<laughs> now here, here's one that's really gonna wreck this brain. I yeah. actually don't mind the romance between these two in the slightest. Oh, Why yes. not? It was, it was, uh... I... Just... You already had Amy, but I, who cares? No. Oh, no! It's no, not, it's... it's not that bad. It's still, it, it, I, I would say, some people would say, like, oh, it's still a better love story than Twilight. I'm gonna go farther and say the love story is actually better than Twilight. Do people complain about April O'Neil and the Turtles? Is that a thing? I'm kinda, right? In okay. one of the Nickelodeon versions, yeah. Uh, Which Donatello turtle? liked April. Oh, Donatello. Okay. Is he the purple oh. one? And then, He's the one and the actually, down. in that same show, in that same show, Leo had a thing for Shredder's daughter. Ah! Shredder has a daughter? Yes. Yeah, I forgot her name. Yeah, what- Slicer. Say, what did, <laughs> Shredder's daughter, it's, the Slicer. It's, it's so- I don't know, it's such an unmemorable name, whatever it is. The pure. I remember looking it up like a month ago. That makes me imagine, like, remember Teen Titans Killer Moth had his totally normal daughter, Kitten? Oh, yeah. Despite being a hideous Mothman? Yeah. You know, you find somebody... So, I wonder... So, uh... You think, you think Mobian genes would be dominant in a... in a, a Mobian, uh... uh human, like, offspring? That's an unexplored okay. aspect Aren't... of the Sonic franchise. They just... Aren't... They just it isn't... It. Isn't in the comics there a result of a radioactive bomb or something? I, I uh, don't Christmas know. Isle? No, they're they're another species. They're alien. They're our operating they're... series is that a bunch of Saiyans came to Earth and fucked the wildlife, and that's no, how no. Mobians happened. No, 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 no. No, what happened is that the no the humans are what's a radioactive species. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh, okay. <laughs> they <laughs> they became fucked up. In the comics, there's some kind of nuke or something, and it fucks up human DNA forever. Oh, so that's not what we're... And they're referred... They're referred to... They're not humans anymore. They're referred to as overlanders. So humans are supposed to be, like, short and Mobian-sized. I think so. We, 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 we became taller due to radiation. Like, uh, they, they're supposed to look like... What's the guy's name? Egg, Eggman... Snively. It's, it's supposed... Yeah, it's supposed to explain why Eggman and Snively look so fucking weird. I like I like the Sonic X theory where fucking where where Eggman just looks he's like oh I'm not from here this, but these people look weird and he sees that he has a an uncle here's like wait I'm from here this entire time why do I look so weird? We never really got the uh, <laughs> lore as to how Eggman got to Sonic World in Sonic X. I, I wish I, we would have. Maybe they maybe season three a, was really good. Maybe his uncle was just like. Listen, we can't, we can't just, I can't leave him here. You gotta, you gotta send him to another peaceful world. Season 4 could have introduced yeah. Eggman Nega. That amazing villain. They, they could have done the Sonic Heroes arc in Season 4. They probably should have done that before done that. that but would have been cool to see it be done justice. Season 3 is definitely my favorite season, but... I would recommend watching the Japanese version over the English one. Yes, we that's what we did. The cuts yeah, the cuts are Cosmo has gone away somewhere. We'll find her one of these days. Molly's character was made out to be a complete hypocrite coward in the English version because of their cuts. Because instead of dying, she runs away. Oh that's <laughs> and right. She doesn't come back. Maria 2.0. Even though, even the whole, even though the whole episode, she was like, "No, I'll never abandon my planet. I'm, I'm loyal." Fucking like planet. what? Hey, they they're on the Windows, Windows deck ground. Yeah. It's just... Oh, this is this is one of those pre-renders. Yep, we got we we put the budget where it matters. Wait, he is. Where's he hurt? No, really, where? <laughs> I don't see anything. Don't take off my glove. I, I don't consent Aw, oh, jeez. This is so embarrassing. Smile. Aww. 
If they didn't go for such a realistic style for the humans, maybe it'd be a little less odd. Like they're, they're very they're jarring like side by side. That's the thing. It's it's like an it's like a character from an oil painting dating a fucking an, like anime drawn character. It's just it's two different art styles. Can love bloom between two different art styles? Roger Rabbit and so uh, like, Final Fantasy character. So it's like Cool World. It's like Cool World. <laughs> I have been, that's a reference I didn't expect you to drop. Well, gosh, Yuffie, do you think the others will approve? <laughs> well, it is like when Roger Rabbit's dating Son fucking Jessica Rabbit. Or like Mary. Sonic of the Six, but Sonic is goofy. <laughs> Why are your legs tan? I demand an explanation. Hose? It's, it's stockings. Hose, yeah, pantyhose. That's some pretty thick hose. <laughs> hose mad. <laughs> you left the door wide open. I know this song. This this is the song that that, that say, sing in the credits or something. He just rips her fucking arm off. <laughs> if it were Sonic X, he would have. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes in Sonic X is when Sonic, who is not the strong character, bends a tank barrel over itself one-handed. Oh yeah. That's why they're fucking. That was sick. You That's don't mess like, with really... Mobians, and Knuckles Mobians. is stronger than that. <laughs> Like, like, again, imagine if, like, Bugs Bunny had, like, the fighting power of Goku, and that's what we think, that's what I think Mobians are. Okay, Zalrog, do you Here want tips for this, for this fight? Uh, let me try it or first. Or do you know what you're doing? So let him, let him try okay. it a couple of times. I want, I, I think it'd be, it'll be fun. Alright. Alright. <laughs> so, come on, we gotta see him fail, that's, that's what this... Uh, Cause this one's particularly bullshit. <laughs> he sounds familiar. Uh, hold on. Who, who's Silver's voice actor? Yeah, go, go, go to the behind the voice actors. He should be on there. Are you the, the Iblis right, Trigger? Those... I but think they hired Bryce Pappenbrook for recent games. Did it load just to show a shadow or Silver like like his uh, his like? who he is and now it's loading again <laughs> it's low it loaded to show his his war cry battle pose very yeah, important uh <laughs> no i must make my entrance right after this loading screen take this okay it's no use there it is there it is <laughs> There's no oh, use. Oh, I recognize this music. Well, is this a glitch? Or is he no. just like stunlock you? No. <laughs> we wow. got it! We got the aerial kill! <laughs> it's no use. Boy, he holds you for a while. It's simply no use. No, you can't. He wants yeah! to save his victory. Eh. Uh, Pete Capella. Okay, I don't know that name. Bryce Pappenbrook, we Has found out. It? Huh? Does he do anything? Did he do anything else other than this? I don't know. Um, he was Shane Jordan in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. Whoa! Big name. <laughs> uh, he was the guitarist, I think, in the uh, in the uh, tournament arc after uh, after the end of the. Kind of heart, you know. Aww. Yeah, if he ever catches you in the air, you're fucked. Okay. Uh, Bryce it's Pappenbrook, no we found out, is Cat Noir. Oh, wait, so hold on. That and yeah, I knew about that. That and now Silver and Aaron Yeager are all the same. So, Silver, for the longest time, yeah. was played by Pete Capella up until... Uh, up until Sonic Free Riders, and he became Quentin Flynn. 
Quentin for, Flynn voice silver. Yeah, from Sonic Free Riders all the way up through uh, uh, Sonic Forces. And then as of 2019, silver is Bryce, Bryce, uh, Bryce Patton's level. I can hear Quentin I prefer, silver. I prefer the original actor. I don't like Bryce's performance. Run away! Bryce only has one voice and it's edgy teen angst. Which is weird because his, uh, his Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, like, uh, like the picture they used for, for behind the voice actors, he looks happy. He just looks happy to be there. His his best work is in Danganronpa, but that's about it. Okay. I just not... can't stand him in most animes. He doesn't sound great. He's pretty good in, uh, in Lady Bunny. I don't think he sounded worse than any other character in Attack on Titan. He just needs proper direction, is the problem. You're... This is all wrong. It's no use. Clearly. It's simply no use. Don't you understand? <laughs> You're surviving a lot better against him than I thought you would. Well, the impression I'm getting okay. is that it's like a hit-and-run strategy. He'll have a moment of vulnerability, and you're not hitting him at the oh, moment oh, of vulnerability. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So, I appreciate in the Archie comics uh, the moment where uh, Silver says, It's no use. I'm so tired of hearing people say that. Yeah. Because it's really funny. It's really good. <laughs> yep, just just keep attacking. Did they have to make the animation take so long, though? Oh. You really... Oh. <laughs> okay, so I wait for him to lift some stuff. Also, I'm trying to homing attack away, and he, he doesn't want to do that. Just land and then, and then run. You don't have to, like, hold me exact away, just... Uh, you're gonna... Yeah, as, as soon as you hit him when he's holding stuff, you gotta run away and wait. Or else he'll just grab you. He's a grabby guy. Grabby McGee. Oh, shit. <laughs> grabby McGee. Thank oh, God boy. for skippable cutscenes. Yeah, imagine if we have to watch, like, a long cutscene every time we die. That'd, that'd be intolerable. That'd be Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> the Lace allowed you to skip cutscenes uh, from Kingdom Hearts 2 on. Didn't we end up watching the Cerberus cutscene, like, ten times? <laughs> you Cerber will have to have watched it at least once. I don't mind that. I mean, speedrunners probably do, but... I've heard a take before where they, uh, I don't remember who it was, but they said, like, you should never have unskippable cutscenes under any circumstances because it's forcing you to, forcing you to experience the art, and I'm like, that's the worst take I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I, I would say a better take would be you should have unskippable cutscenes because speedrunners uh, find them intolerable. Have the option to turn off unskip. Yeah, just be like, hey, I'd, I'd like to have the opportunity. That's like that dude who said that, uh, oh my god. It's like, what, what's the point of rendering the cutscenes if no one's gonna watch them, right? Like... I saw a side-by-side uh, -side video where, uh, there was a reason to pick a certain sex of player character in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Oh, what was the because reason? in like the intro, if you pick a male character, the female rival takes longer to show you how to catch a Pokemon. She has like a little additional oh. animation. Speedrun strat. You can use the, I the thought, gravity slide I thought, to get away. I thought you were gonna bring up the scene where um the rival Silver uh, catches you in a Team Rocket base and tears your fucking clothes off because you're wearing a disguise. What? That Wait, happens? does that happen? Yeah, yeah, that's a canon thing, and people make art of it. And I... depending on what gender you are, the implications are very strange either way. <laughs> I'm bad. It's no... I don't know why. I don't know why. I haven't played the game yet, but I know that it definitely does happen. It's part of the script. 
Well, I have I, I've game, seen I the art. It. I was not aware it was actually in the game. I thought that was just fan invented. I don't know if it's in the remake or the original, but it's in one of them. It's not in the original. Okay, it's in the remake then, probably. Like, he sees you wearing a disguise and he's like, What are you doing, idiot? Take that off. And he rips it off you. <laughs> and it's really weird. The original didn't establish that Silver was the son of Giovanni. I'm assuming maybe yeah. that's established in the remakes. I and obviously so, it was a yeah. thing in the comics. I remember reading the... Uh, the... You're dead. There's no way. I remember reading the gold and silver manga when I was like eight years old. Oh yeah, that's right, that existed. How was that? Was that a trip? Well, I saw it at the library and I was like, oh, Pokemon, cool, I'll rent this. And, and then it became ultraviolet and you were so surprised. At... No, no, no. I was at a part where um, they were talking about silver trying to find someone, like a girl or something. And I found, I found out like years later that they were talking about Leaf, because in that manga she's his sister. Oh yeah, that uh, is the case, isn't it? But I never about. found out, and I thought at the time he was he, they were talking about some girlfriend that he had. I think the violent stuff was more in, like, the very first Pokemon comics, not necessarily Adventure. Wait, did Shadow- did Silver grab the rings? I think he can, yes. Oh, that's that's rough. That's pretty funny. Ladies, they don't give him more hit points. Well, Get out, goal. Sonic! That's death. You should just... Just slide into him. <laughs> you had the right idea before. Don't homing attack, just slide. Yeah. So, does Silver... <laughs> the difficulty of this is absurd. So, does Silver get get any awards for being the most competent antagonist? Because... <laughs> he's He kills you pretty easily. Tetsuo! Slide, Sonic! <laughs> yeah, he's... Teddy -a! <laughs> Too close. Okay, no, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anti grip. Yeah. This, so, Shad, this is. It's, it's, he's. Like. Like, you just come at him and he stops you from mining like, what you think was gonna happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a psychic idiot. Have either of you gentlemen heard the theory of Shadow being Silver's father? No. Ooh. There was a comic writer who said he was designed to be, like, a child from Amy and Shadow, and ever since, it's been up in the air. And they won't confirm it, but in the- in Sonic and the Black Knight, uh... Now, you realize- Shadow is Lan- You realize Shadow this is- Lancelot, is... right? Go on. Shadow is Lancelot, right? And his- and, uh, Lancelot's son? I forget his name. It starts with a G. Or something. Galahad. Galahad is silver in that game. So Was it? Now you realize this is only being posited time. because of Vegeta and Trunks, right? Probably, yes. Yeah, because Shadow... Because Sega has admitted that they're both based on those characters. Yeah, and they have... yeah because because they're they're genetic cousins to say it. Yeah. And I'd believe it, because at this point, I feel like Shadow is just straight up immortal. I like the sound of that! Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Why are you such a disappointment, son? Hey! Kakarot! <laughs> hey, you okay? <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? Anyway. Won the fight, lost. Yeah, anyway. what are you doing, Sonic? Why did you approach him? Hey, we cool, right? Hey, man, now that I beat the crap out of you. <laughs> I don't know. This is an anime, Sonic. Okay. This is another thing I didn't like. Kidnapping that silver. Too. 
that Silver doesn't acknowledge Elisa's existence ever. Cause, cause I get he's... that I get that he's focusing on his mission, right? But like he has nothing to say. Not a, not even a little like what was that? Ah, uh, sure it's not important. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Amy recognizes that Silver's not not Sonic. Her, her face no, looks you odd. See... It's like slightly longer than usual. No, you see at the beginning of Silver's story that she mistakes him at first. No, oh, don't spoilers. Everybody, she has to do it with everyone it's once. The first, it's the first cutscene! <laughs> We're not at the first cutscene. We're still on Sonic's story. I had an inkling it would happen. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a She's running game. blind as a bat. Don't, don't, you can't make fun of somebody with cataracts like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eggman's <laughs> mechs have appeared in the new city. This is terrible. I need to let everyone know right away. Yes. What are you guys doing? Just Italian hands? Alright. That's the bob and the boop and <laughs> Babbity boopy Mario. They're just surrounding him, waving their hands and speaking Italian. I'm just like, I don't know how to get, extricate myself from this situation. That guy had the most determined look in his eyes that I've ever seen. NPC is hot for trunks. <laughs> Love that trunks. Oh, yeah. Now we need a, uh... We need, we need a sequel game where Sonic goes back to being a kid, and he goes on space adventures with Silver. Oh, so Clat... You're basically describing Sonic Generations, but with Silver. Mm -hmm. No, you're describing Sonic Forces. I'll take him down with my famous karate chop. Okay. It's like that one dude in Baki who's like, I know karate, and he's like, you're a fucking idiot. That guy, that guy can just kill you with nothing but his, but his finger. I... about spec. Actually, I've drawn, um... <laughs> Parody comics of scenes from The Mandalorian with Shadow and Silver as a baby. I've never really done any DBZ cross Sonic artwork. Well, you haven't really watched a lot of Dragon Ball, have you? I've only watched Z, yeah. Dragon Ball's, uh, Dragon Ball's, uh, like, more, I would say more lighthearted. I've heard that, yeah. I just couldn't deal with anything that came after Z. It just kept getting... The hype bar kept getting higher, and I kept getting more disappointed. GT's fine. I liked GT. No one else seemed to. I liked GT. Then again, no one else watched original Dragon Ball, which GT kind of tried to capture, recapture a bit of. Yeah, it's like everybody watches Z. Everybody was like watching everyone, GT, expecting more Everyone... Z. Yeah, everyone watched Z and then suddenly started getting really hype about Super Saiyan forms. And yeah. that's when it all went downhill. What's this all stupid went... adventure shit? Why are they all, like, wacky and fun having? Everyone should be just alien <laughs> spacemen punching each other. Boo! Gohan used to be the strongest warrior! Now he's a I mean, yeah, he did. Fighter. Super did turn no, Gohan a into a bitch. <laughs> Wanna open the gate to, so you can get to New City Plaza? Someone tell you I just go ahead and do that for you? I can't actually help like, you. Like, did everyone just forget that Gohan, like, is still kind of a pacifist? Who, like, I mean, yeah, but he was still, like, strong in Z. Yeah. It's right, also just, like, a continuity... Reason... It's a continuity question, because there's a seven-year time skip in Z, and he comes out pretty much fine from that, and then, like, two years later, in Super, he's struggling against the mookest of mooks. So it's just, like, a, a question of writing. Yeah, the whole reason that the Cell fight was so damn long is because Gohan the whole time was like, I really don't want to fight, though. I don't like fighting. Oh, yeah, I never particularly liked the way Gohan was handled, but... Yeah. It just reflects poorly on Goku as a dad. Someone point me to the- Will the real commander please stand up? 
All right, who, who is the commander? It's, it's Guido! We'll talk to Guido. Are you Guido? No, you're Urkel. I think it's, I think it's a guard, right? So. Oi. Sweet, uh... Hey, Marco! We got some sweet, like, 90s ska music playing. The soundtrack is really good. Captain, Captain is one of the men you're, you've already spoken to. That's this entire mission is an NPC hunt? Yes, you gotta find out who the real person is. He's in the drug real deal Captain. bridge. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I, I, I am so... Oops. I'm... I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> what Alyssa said is true. Wait, they have names? Yeah. Giorgio. Giorgio. What Alyssa said is true. Okay, who's who's Alyssa? Eternal Alicia? Sonata. Eternal Sonata has some very strange names. What what is Eternal Sonata? Isn't that that it's... that fake World War Two game? I don't know. It's oh. a. I want to call it a, an RPG, and I don't know what it's about because I haven't come close to beating it yet. But there's themes with like characters building instruments as weapons, and all their names are based on musical tones and stuff like that. There, uh, there's two so more guards some characters. Next some characters are named like Allegretto or uh, Polka. No, I didn't. Talk to him again, then. Do it. Oh. Right. Great! <laughs> <laughs> I never even I met mean... Elicio. <laughs> I guess that's clever, <laughs> but... Weren't you Why? The lieutenant? But weren't you the lieutenant? <laughs> I was gonna say, prior to... Ah, uh, yes. Prior to Amy showing up in that last scene, is there any reason that she couldn't have played the role of Elise? I, I guess it would have been far-fetched to have, an, a, like, a prophecy tied to Amy Rose. I'm not sure. Gotta go to the warehouse, bro. I've, I will... I literally just... I feel like they just... Because it was this anniversary, they were like... Hey, let's make a reference to Madonna. <laughs> you know? Madonna. The the singer, the Sonic character. Why or... is her name Madonna? Because <laughs> that's an actual word. Like, Madonna. Like, like well, it's me. derived from Prima Donna, which is Italian. For leading lady. Is that why this city is Italian? Sure. I don't... I, I don't know that Elise is necessarily referencing the original Madonna concept. It kind of seems like they just wanted just to get on the us. on the realistic hype train that video games were on at this time. Final <laughs> Fantasy is doing well. Maybe we should do that. Well, what it wasn't that. It was Sonic. like uh, it was like Fable and, and PS2 and Grand Theft Auto and Xbox. Like realistic looking games were finally possible, and so they had become the trend. This was when Twilight Princess happened because. A lot of Westerners rejected Wind Waker Zelda for its style. Which is a shame. I liked Wind Waker. I Wind Waker's Wind Waker fun. I like it. I mean, I didn't like the, the math. You think they rejected the Wind Waker for their art style, not the massive amounts of sailing people had to do? It was mostly the art style that people immediately rejected, because they got the N64 Zeldas, and they thought that it was going to continue along that trend of looking more realistic. Medley is one of my favorite Zelda characters. She's very cute. I was th I was watching a. Uh, Vinny finished his Wind Waker randomized run, and I was watching the that ending. That coin. And I realized yeah. that we didn't really get an explanation as to why Ganondorf was back in Wind Waker. He just, I don't know, he popped out of the Dark Realm one day in Ocarina, or the, the Seal Link. weakened or something. His Link left. And it got, it's, uh, I mentally compared it to, like, Star Wars. Somehow Palpatine returned. 
Somehow. <laughs> you're, you're wanting to find the warehouse district, by the way. We don't know how it happened. We don't know how they got there. Mega Man. Mega Man. What's that over there? Is that the script? <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> what? It's growing away in the wind. <laughs> Emanuela. That that's not okay. Call me Emma. What the? Hey, it's uh, it's that one uh, it's that one doormat from from Miraculous Ladybug. She's got <laughs> some uh, she's got some DDR moves. Look at her go. <laughs> She's a fake Italian. She's not doing it right. She's, she's not doing Italian hands. She's doing Italian feet. Whoa! What? Oh. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Is this, uh... So this is Roger Craig Smith Sonic, right? No, this is Jason Griffith. Oh, okay. Roger is way, way, way later in the series. Like, Sonic Colors. I think Jason's last game was Unleashed, but I could be wrong. Uh, Mike Pollock is staying for Eggman, but the other Sonic actors, they just went through a new replacement cycle. Yeah, I know about that. I, uh... I was never a fan of Roger, other than his performance in the Boom TV show. But that was about it. I have no idea where the warehouse district is. It's fine, just keep hugging one of the walls, you'll find it. Do you, do you want me to to reference the walkthrough? Yeah, I don't care. What, you don't know the city by heart, Saucy? I thought you were a super fan. No, I just think that this game is is overly hated. <laughs> I'm, I'm among my people. Oh fuck, I can't get out. Uh... Okay, we're Price fine. Sliding. Did you find it? Uh, no. I, I escaped my oh. blue prison. He was trapped, and now he's not. Okay, let's, let's look for something that looks like a warehouse. Everything looks like apartments. There's a tower. Well, this is unhelpful. It doesn't say where the door is. God, this is... This is I love says, Kenpachi. I love Kenpachi Simulator 2006. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Kenpachi Ramasama. Zoro from One Piece. Ryoga from Ranma. Huh? They kind of... They kind of did that bit with Knuckles in Sonic X, the getting lost all the time. Not too often, a little bit. <laughs> well, I guess that was even in Sonic Adventure. He just kind of randomly popped out of the sewers in one scene. Like, hey, what's up? Yeah, Knuckles, what Knuckles. was that about? Why was he in the fucking sewer pipes? Well, that was after <laughs> his digging. mine level. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, Venice. You're not thinking like about fighting Eggman, are you? You should really think if, twice about that. He's a if genius Knuckles was scientist. like the grouch from Sesame Street and he lived in the fucking sewers. <laughs> oh, hey, we like, found a clue. Why, why okay, are you yeah, thinking the doors, of grouch the Knuckles? Here. Go through the door. Okay. I mean, he is basically homeless by choice. He just kind of lives at a shrine. There we go. Okay. All right. So it wasn't on that map. I, I, the I warehouse. Mistaken. The warehouse should be in this map in the back. So new city. We were just in fake Venice, and now we're going to fake New York. Oh, I predict. No. <laughs> no, it's still Venice. It's just a different. It's just different. It's Venice. just a different Venice. <laughs> uh, Sonic Unleashed is the one where he is like globe trotting, right? right. Globe trotting. So. Yeah, you go to like like a lot of real worldish locations. Oh yeah, See, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like yeah, a little African exactly boy and things. Yeah, they have more cartoonish designs for the humans in that. Oh, that's good. Is that the first one where there's like an egg po egg pawn always mocking Eggman? I think so. Yeah. It was prototype Orbot. 
We've decided to patrol the town to make sure everyone's safe. Okay. Oh. Good for oh, you, good ten job. year old. Good job, boy. He's, he's like a But it he's seems Yeah. Got like a shonen protagonist. <laughs> it seems like they haven't used that specific style in Unleashed for Humans since they've gone full like, oh no, everyone's furry animals. There's no humans. No, the, the, is that what they're doing now? The trade relations between humanity and Mobians are always just just weird. Like, sometimes they interact yeah. and sometimes they don't. As of the last Sonic game, Sonic Forces, humans are not a, a factor other than Eggman. All the citizens are furry people. That's why I liked the Sonic uh, X continuity, because it kind of gave an explanation to the, the two. Have you seen the, um... There was a version of the opening that was uh, leaked. I don't know if it was real, uh, where originally it wasn't going to be humans. It was going to be other anthropomorphic Sonic characters. Yeah, well, why I've didn't seen they that. do that? I think it's like the pilot intro or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, why didn't they do that? I guess. I, I don't guess know. Humans would be. Would be it's easier to animate humans. They don't even animate Rouge's wings flapping when she flies. Oh yeah, that, that's hilarious. Rouge is a cat, yeah, by the she way. she just flies in the air. <laughs> doesn't she does just glide in the air in Sonic Adventure too, though? Yeah, she doesn't. But no, she flies and she doesn't flap her wings in uh, in Sonic X. I just, I just can't get over it. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Like, you flap them. She's a bat. <laughs> no, she's a Bats descendant flap. of Saiyans. <laughs> I should, I should mention that that of all the people, I think that Rouge has half human ancestry because of how she looks. Yeah, she doesn't have. She's, she's the not... one. She's the product of Mobian and human. Yeah. Is that why they were pushing a lesbian ship in Sonic in Sonic X? <laughs> I like that they did that. That was cool. <laughs> There's more representation. No, me too. I liked it. I don't like uh, Rouge's voice actress from the Jason Griffith era, to be honest. She only has one tone, and it's I'm I'm sexy. I don't remember it's... who that was. I know two of her actresses I... are Lanny Minnelli. And she also had the actress for My Valentine from Yu-Gi-Oh, whoever her, whatever her name is. <laughs> Let me look it up. Actually, I, I don't think it was the original Mai. It was the second Mai, who sounded oh, yeah, really different right. when her voice changed. That's because she was evil. She was exposed to the power of, uh, of the uh, seal of Orichalcos, and okay. that just changed her. And that her. made her forget how to do the voice and sound like a Chinese knockoff. Kathleen Delaney. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't like Kathleen's performance. All she knows how to do is the sexy voice, and it's annoying. And in this game especially, it's a very bad. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm looking for rings, but I'm not finding any. Maybe I can... Yeah. How, how open. She's like, she's like the only cast member from this era that like I definitively just cannot stand. Is she the one in Sonic Adventure 2? No. Um, I don't know who that is, but that that was definitely someone else. Cause you don't know when to give up, do you? Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely not the same actress. Sir <laughs> actress. Uh, the actress from this era has a much deeper voice, and she sounds like she's like 30 or 40 years old. I mean, I, I honestly always kind of pictured that voice for Rouge, like like yeah. a chain smoker Vegas lady. <laughs> Boy, uh, my problem, think... my problem is that she never has any emotion other than. Do you want to fuck? <laughs> like. <laughs> sounds like lust from Full Metal Alchemist. Although her name yeah. is Lust, to be fair. It's, it's yeah. Fine. So did did Rouge actually have a mom or like family? 
No, not no. that I know of. You sure I've... about that? I think I hold on. I like didn't see anything in, like in comic the comic. Lore. Well, that's something. That's that's more than like anything else to add. Give me a second. That's more than nothing. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that the rings have physics. They just flop nothing... everywhere. Nothing in mainline game canon for sure. Or Sonic X. Sonic just kind of keeps always... introducing new characters or forgetting about their old ones for a while. The 3D yeah. games, anyway. Like Metal Sonic? Metal Sonic has been, like, completely wiped off the roster. <laughs> I don't know why they got rid of him. And, and then they made point. Metal... They made Metal Knuckles for Sonic R, and we haven't seen him in any other game. We don't know where he came from or what what's his deal. Even at this point, like the, when they made Sonic 06, they had so many characters already to use, and they're still introducing new ones like Silver and Blaze. Yeah. Uh. I think they're scared of Silver because his debut game mm. had such awful reception, so they don't want to touch him. Yeah. But, well, that wasn't that wasn't his fault. Yeah, but when your game gets, like, such bad reception, like, anything from it is, like, you shouldn't touch that. Talk. Uh -huh. You would say it's toxic. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. That's not Madonna. That's Britney Spears. I don't mind. <laughs> oh, did I, uh... I don't, think, I don't think I showed Jack the uh, video that, uh... Apparently Bowser's... His like baton dance in one of the Olympic games syncs up perfectly with Britney Spears' "Toxic." <laughs> That's oh good. my god! I like that. I put. I think I'm pretty sure I posted in the Wickersham server. I don't think you need to be here. Oh, there's a laser fence. You can't go there yet. Yeah, I think you you got to go all the way into the back of town. Yeah, you're not. You're not. And far jump enough. over the fence. Where's Mayor Pauline? I heard this was New Donk City. <laughs> Man, remember Pauline when Mario so was dropped in a city with realistic people and he could like roll around to get places? It's weird that Sonic can't start rolling while he's running in this game. Oops, all spin dash. I think I actually kind of prefer Sonic with Humans as opposed to the, like, what was posited in the pilot intro for Sonic X. Just because it makes more sense that, like, Sonic and friends are all super-powered in some way. Otherwise, it's kind of weird that they have these crazy powers and just all the normal Mobian city citizens just kind of don't. Yeah, because Cream was able to, like, kick a bunch of ass, and Amy... Like, the caught in a cage, and he's like, what are we gonna do? And Amy just finishes breaking the cage, and she's like, oh, right, did you say something? It's all wrong. What? <laughs> right at the second you're building, going... and right at the intersection. I don't he, know. he is going in circles, you're... yes, just roll with it. You're he... going everywhere Someone but the roll. warehouse. Oh, we're going to a warehouse? Yes! Yes! <laughs> in the back! You're going the this wrong is, way. Oh, this is the station. That's the we'll wrong way. We'll have to for ten minutes. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about it. You fool. Here, I'll follow a wall. No, I, I told you where you need to go. <laughs> you said the warehouse. I don't know where that is. Go, go, go. Turn left. Yeah. Just keep going in this direction. Even if you gotta swerve a little, keep going. Keep going. Now jump over the fence. If you don't have any business here, stay away. That's the only place you can do that, I think, that you can just bypass the guards. 
Oh no, baby, baby, oh boy. Baby. Man, Tony Hawk 2 had more fleshed out levels than this. <laughs> oh, oh boy, here comes lag. <laughs> Battle at the warehouse. Is is this shadow? Is this shadow hanging out in a warehouse? No. <laughs> Not because Knuckles is here. Don't have any business, and then never mind those robots. They must have business. Or else they would be here. You don't have any business here, civilian. What oh, about okay, these never mind. Just do what you want. <laughs> Wait, what about these robots? Oh no! They treat him like no, he's just such an ordinary, robot. just an ordinary civilian. No one reacts to Sonic being <laughs> Sonic. You mean, you mean him being fast or him being a Mobian? Or him being a giant blue I hedgehog? Think, I yeah. think the implication is that he's in a different country right now that's never heard of him or doesn't know who he is. Okay, and heard of Mobian. I don't. And all the I others ha just happen, happen to be here. I haven't Everybody seen a single. Because. They use newspapers, and I haven't seen a television anywhere in the city. <laughs> so I'm assuming they don't have internet. Jorno, you see that giant creature running around at, at the speed of sound. Do you think this could be an enemy stand? Oh, that's a bomb. <laughs> So I wonder if GUN is uh, is just a different country's government poking around in someone else's country, or they're, they're or if they really are just from Soliana. No, G. I thought GUN were, were American, or sorry, Station Square. Yeah, yeah the United States president <laughs> is is Canada's sonic lord. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the president's aid. I I wish I, I I love I love when like any Sonic fan thing replaces the U.S. president with Obama. <laughs> it's so good. That reminds me of all the presidents that appeared in uh, in Baki. Baki loves to have real U.S. presidents in the manga. Yes, uh, Yujiro actually wanted to fuck Hillary. That's- that's canon to talk. Okay. Th that one's news to me. <laughs> and Hillary was like, oh, I'm interested. Ew. <laughs> oh my god! And then, and then Trump- Trump uh, gave Yujiro the fucking, like, Nazi salute. You're making this up! I am not. I'll show you the picture. Hold on. Hold on. I'll show you the picture. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I know there's a scene where they have like a- they, they, it's like Obama and Trump having a transfer of power. And Obama's like, listen, there's this one guy, he's the strongest in the world, you do what he says. Yeah, oh yeah. just like, no, that's stupid, we're putting an end to this. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it true that at one point in JoJo, uh... Actually, I shouldn't ask, I don't know if you guys are caught up yet. We're up to where the anime is, which is part five, so we've seen the whole Jorno part. Okay, because I was going to ask a question, but like, I don't know if it's in part five. Here it is. And I'm looking. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I can't believe this. It's great. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean... I can't... Um... <laughs> I can't even process this. <laughs> it's great. Is that it's Chinese? Great. That's amazing. That's Korean. Oh. That's Korean. You can tell That's by the Korean. circles. Oh, no, the God. book, the, the novel itself, the, the comic itself is from Japan. I just I was just looking for it, and it just happened to be the Korean uh, sub. The Korean... Uh, That's amazing. Translation. Uh, That's great. <laughs> Aki's a crazy. Oh no! Look, look, uh, look, saucy! You gotta watch the Netflix box. It is fucking crazy. <laughs> you wanted me to give this to you. Oh, it's Dan Green Knuckles. Yes. It's it's Yugi you from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yep. You must give me your chaos Sonic, use the heart of the cards. <laughs> This reminds me of oh, something I really liked from uh, from the Godfrey Ho film. 
So you know what guy who Godfrey Ho is, right, Saucy? Uh, no, I don't actually. Godfrey Ho is a uh, Hong Kong filmmaker uh, who would uh, have found a really cheap way to make movies. You see, he would just uh -huh. like find footage of movies that was like not complete, and he'd just take them and redub them in English, and he'd shoot his own footage for for these movies. And all the footage usually involves ninja ninjas, so we just add ninja footage <laughs> to, to these movies, these ninja subplots, and pretend that they were the, the focus of the movie. And uh, and so for the price of like one movie, he'd be able to make five. And so one time, and they're all, and he would always use like mostly white actors too, mostly Caucasian dudes, or not 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 Chinese dudes. So. So one one scene was just this guy, Ninja Master Gordon, just chilling, and then he hears a knock on the, on the door, right? So then he answers the uh -huh. door, and then smoke shoots into the into the room, so he just backflips away. All right, you know what he sees? He sees this tiny robot walk in and just walk in towards it. This tiny toy robot, and it goes, Traitor, listen to me. You have just three days to return the Golden Ninja Warrior to our master. And he's looking at it like... Hmm. And then he gets a call. After that, he gets a call on his phone, his Ooh. Garfield phone. It's literally a phone in the shape of Garfield. He answers it, and his eyes open up and stuff. So he answers it, and he listens. And it's the guy who sent the message. He's like, "Hey, did did you get my message?" I just wanted to be called to be sure you got the robot. <laughs> I, I so we gotta fight or what? <laughs> Hold on. I don't want to be responsible. Jack, you're gonna kill Saucy with Hong Kong ninja movies. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! That's amazing. Here, I found the scene. You should watch it. Oh no. <laughs> Or at least see the robot. Oh, I forgot to see the arm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's right. Nobody knocks on the door. This is weird fucking alarm doorbell. Getting shot while I'm doing like homing attack sequences. I think the like the long delay after using it was added to try to make them more intentional, so that you can't just like dash to dash to dash and take out a swarm of enemies. But why though? You think that? No, well, you don't want the player to have too much fun. No, clearly. Worse than the hamburger phone. <laughs> no. And when it, when they say golden ninja warrior, they mean literally like it's a ninja statue made of gold. And I don't know if it was oh this movie God. or another movie. I, I presume they take place in the same. All the ninja movies take place in the same universe. Or the whatever. Godfrey host cinematic universe. And then one guy's like, you fool, if he has the Black Ninja Warrior and the Golden Ninja Warrior, we'll have supreme ninja power. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. And it's just like... You fool! <laughs> supreme ninja power. Nothing better. I love when people call other people a fool. Yeah. It's so funny. That was Merrick's favorite word in Yu-Gi-Oh. Fools! <laughs> Merrick was another... Merrick was another character who was just having fun being a villain. Like, he loved it! 
but it's okay. It wasn't his fault. He was possessed by the spirit of his anger or some shit. Obey me, Joey. Obey me, glass of water. You know what was great is that, uh, is that, uh, Hawk Moth is another character that's just really enjoying being a villain. Miraculous Ladybug. Yeah, and it's just like, I've never seen anybody just have so much fun. Like, not since Merrick, I'd wager. I, I still have no idea need, where I'm going. Oh, it, it tells me. Villains. Yeah. We need more villains that in, enjoy their their activities. <laughs> Like, can you imagine if Sephiroth all we, was fucking all we like that? have our... Yeah. <laughs> just Sephiroth being all like, yes. <laughs> just takes his fucking long sword. It's like, I'm gonna rob this bank, Cloud. We have <laughs> a bunch of angsty revenge plots and shit. Like, I want a guy who's just like, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you know? <laughs> just beats the shit out of Cloud. You suck. <laughs> Get good, scrub! <laughs> I feel like I heard about something like that in a game somewhat recently. There was like, uh, there was like a villain who talked in really obnoxious chat speak. I think Vinny streamed oh this God. game, whatever it was. And it was like the most, most loathed character than anyone who was trying to destroy the world. What? I am, uh, was I, it Gunvolt? It might have been. It might have been Gunvolt. I remember my dad showing me a Gunvolt, and there was a character just like that. He was like, um... He would be like, oh, LOL, epic fail, and shit like that. And he would put hashtags in his insults. <laughs> and then he would be like, yeah, I want to get this guy killed. <laughs> Somehow there was also causes more a rapper. rage. There was also a guy who rapped in English even though he was Japanese. <laughs> Killer that's, B. That's not common. And it, and his rap, his rap didn't sound good. Was the problem? <laughs> oh, so it was just Sushi K from Snow Crash. Yeah, it was intentionally made to be garbage. And the pro, and the protagonist you play as the whole time is just like, oh my god, what are, what is this rap? It sounds awful. <laughs> you rap. You rap. Make it terribly. stop. <laughs> Make it stop! He's, he's, a, he's a mumble rapper. Venture Brothers is a whole series God. full let me, of... Let me look this up. Full of heroes and villains that just enjoyed the, the, the drama of it all. Yeah, they, they enjoyed being villains, just... Well, because it was a deconstruction of the whole hero-villain thing. Yeah. Let me find is... some of his, his rap... You, was really this, funny. like, from a game? Yeah, it's from Gunvolt. Was Gunvolt not from the Sega Genesis? No, it was like... Wasn't Gunvolt, like, the sequel to Mighty Number no. 9? Or no, it featured the character later. Okay, yeah, alright, never mind. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> uh... There's, there's one here, it says, Yo, Mac! I'm back on the attack like a whack, whack flapjack. You're on my turf, so it's time to get nerfed. Oh, we oh. Got one of these in every Sonic game. <laughs> this is the worst one. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Good luck. <laughs> okay, so it's got like Tony Hawk jumping. You hold X and then you release it to jump. Yeah, Ollie mechanics. Good. How uh, uh, how far along are we in the Sonic story? Well, last time we checked, we were at twenty percent, right? When did you save you're, last? That's you're nowhere close question. to beating it. So, like halfway? Less? Less? No. We, we're not even not at even the worst. Close. We're not even at what I think considered to be the worst level of this game. Yet. <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess we're gonna have to pick up the pace. He actually has a line that says, I'll kick you in the pants. What the fuck? I'll punch you in the jeans. I'll punch you in the jeans. I'll punch you in the jeans. This is not a case of man versus My name jeans. is Lance, so why is everyone making fun of my pants? <laughs> this, is a, 
This guy, this guy would be outwrapped by the lonely island. <laughs> crack pack black in a back sack quack quack. What the fuck? What did I... So, I... <laughs> did you just make the same mistake? I keep thinking that's time. the way to go and not a cliff. Don't ever go snowboarding. I don't want to lose you. Aww. At least I don't take damage from trees. Yeah, this is at mock speed. He's apparently invincible on a board. But if he's running at full speed, nope. He's weak as a he's weak as glass. Wait, this this counts as a mock speed section? No, I was just saying that, that he doesn't take damage. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna go right. Yeah. Even even the good Sonic games didn't have great boarding sections. I, know the 2D ones I remember in Sonic Adventure, one of the, the boarding sections was in a desert. It for was. some reason. It was optional, but it, there as was if, one. As if you could ride a board on sand like that. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I don't know. I've never tried. <laughs> They're really taking a bunch of gimmicks from Sonic Adventure 1! Just all on one level? Man, I could really use a ring. There's the... There's okay. the Orca, there's the Avalanche while you're on a snowboard. This is just, like, hard reboot. boot. No. No. Should've jumped. <laughs> I tried. Alright, now... Would you now believe the controls hard. aren't very <laughs> responsive in this game, Jack? <laughs> the robots are still shooting you while you're falling. <laughs> Oh, I can oh. play a silver now. Yeah, sure, let's do that. <laughs> Wanna test them out? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we can. No, okay. <laughs> Did I leave my phone? Hold on, my phone's ringing. Give me a sec. Yeah, what, what is that? <laughs> how, far, how far back are we? If it's, real, if it's far back, I might just like play no. catch up off stream. Uh, so this is before we entered the city, isn't it? Oh no. That's okay. Let's try out silver. I will. I will catch up back on Sonic off stream. <laughs> All right. Let's go for my second favorite Sonic character. Your favorite being oh, oh. Shadow of the Hedgehog. Duh. Remember at the end of Sonic Adventure 1? Two androids. Yes, I do. <laughs> when, All's when... well that ends well, right? Well, apparently and then Sonic just... jumps off a cliff and kills himself. <laughs> you know, I was thinking that This maybe, is bullshit! Uh... You can't- you can't levitate for nearly this long in game. <laughs> This, this is a cutscene. This doesn't count. <laughs> God, these cutscenes look nice. That's where all the budget went. Like, imagine if they just focused on silver. Like, how much better this would be. Yeah. It's a little more interesting than uh, Sonic Saves Princess Peach. Yeah. Yeah, I will say as as much as I like the romance subplot with Sonic, I it it's the least interesting story out of the three. Silver's <laughs> is the most interesting to me. It's kind of the same as it's always been with romance in Sonic too. Like Elise is the one making the yeah. moves. It's just, for some reason, Sonic is willing to humor her, though he wasn't Amy. Well, I mean, it's a choice between, uh, Elise, like, being all like, Oh, Sonic, you're so great, and, and just being, like, pretty chill, right? And being, like, well, Sonic! Yeah! Elise, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, Elise doesn't act stalkerish. <laughs> like, 
well, that we know of yet. Blaze, uh, do something! You know what was one of my favorite parts of, like, of, like Sonic characters being romantic, like, badasses was that animation somebody made based off of, like, a segment or crossover game with, uh, Cream and that one dude black at her being like, I'm not afraid of you! Oh, you should be. You're like, and yes, here we are. That di it came from a mobile game, I... that dialogue, didn't yeah. it? Yep. And, uh... My what? favorite, yeah. It's just like... So how does, uh, how does, a uh, Shadow, or, sorry, Silver, control? Uh, he float... Because <laughs> <laughs> my car. That was, that was some GTA shit. <laughs> Wait, why did take? Why did the camera turn around? Because you gotta use your pirate. Because you were jumping. Sorry, your psychokinesis. You gotta go on the green mark and use your psychokinesis. Stand on it. Quick time. Okay. No, there, I don't think there's any QTEs in this game. Well, there is. You gotta hit A when you hurt whatever socks on the wall. Well, other than that, uh, did I, I do my, goo? Some of my favorite, some of my favorite uh, Sonic fan animation things from my childhood were um, Super Mario Bros. Z and then the uh, Nazo animation by Shock for X. Wait, did those you, were really good. Did you ever check out Sonic's Quest for Power? Were you, were no, you I didn't. Or watch that? Oh man, that is like no. the, that is the most. Uh, the most DBC DBC ever DBC in Sonicverse. Like, oh, I guess I'll have to check it out after yeah, this. Yeah, it's also a crossover with uh, Mega Man. Oh shit, that's yeah. sick. <laughs> yeah, it's like in the first, it's like uh, Mega Man teams up with uh, Sigma. I kind of just want to run and jump oh. around and not be doing this this fighting and the psychokinesis heard... stuff. I know that the Archie comics did that, and then that and that specific comic arc establishes that Sonic is so fast that even if time has been stopped, he can move. Which is so incalculably dumb. <laughs> no, that's just... That's just... No, uh, Sonic <laughs> has a variation of the world, which allows him to fucking yeah, like, he has, time stop. He has the water, he though. No, no, his stand is his world. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> <His water though. laughs> God, that's that camera rotation speed. What, you having trouble on the building? Is it a little too steep? <laughs> oh, he, he made it. Brad. He jumped. Silver. He jumped good. <laughs> so he heard you talking shit. <laughs> the hedgehog's talking shit. Uh, go on. Get him. Yep. Got him. It's like auto-homing, but it's bad auto-homing. It, yeah, it would be better if it was Look, nobody's uh, faster than better. Sonic, alright? But, it's pretty neat that, like, you know, they have this sort of things in these levels where it's like, Hey, destroy shit so that you can get by. I think his his telekinesis has potential, but the controls are not good. Isn't that the whole Sonic series? Is a lot of potential. Questionable but the execution. The controls are not good. <laughs> yeah. T D is, is like the better the best of the Sonic modes or yeah, Sonic modes because Oh no, we lost Blaze. The spine shield. Oh no, she, she she fell in the fire, her element. You know it's probably not a factor in uh, in silver like uh, storyline box speed. No, it's not. It's yeah. never a factor. Yeah, His, it's not even a factor in Shadow's story because it's not part of their control. Okay. Yeah. Don't explain what Shadow's story is all about. No, no, I won't. Okay. I just know that neither Silver nor Shadow have mock speed. It's just Sonic. Also, yeah. I guess. Even though Shadow is canonically basically as as fast as Sonic. 
I want an explanation for how fast his jet shoes make him. Because yeah. they still won't give us one. Because that's the only reason he can keep up with Sonic, right? Is, is his jet shoes. What if it just slows him down? It's like his limiter. limiter. <laughs> I mean, he has jet, jet shoes and teleportation if he chooses to use it. Oh yeah, that's right, he can teleport. Chaos control. But then Sonic just pulls a Goku and just steals that. He did it once. With a fake emerald, like... no less. And then, and then Sonic is just like, he's like, I'm not doing that again, that's bullshit. I think the comics, I could be wrong, I think the comics, uh, Archie established that uh, it's like aura or like some kind of like kinetic power that's in the emeralds that allows them to do that. But that that just bugs me even more that like Sonic did that with a fake emerald because it shouldn't have that kinetic energy. It's like making a wish with fake Dragon Balls. You can't do that. Yeah. What, what like a fake, what, why? What would a fake Dragon Ball dragon look like? Uh, the the dude from Shaolin Showdown, Dojo. <laughs> it's just so okay. Yeah, that works. Voiced by Wayne Knight. <laughs> Wayne Knight, the guy who gets uh, who gets uh, killed by raptors in Jurassic Park. That's the one. We got to load halfway through a level now. Oh boy! Yeah, that's how it works. Hmm? Press X to Jason. How do you get here? Oh, here we go. Ah, what's going on? I have crash. <laughs> I have Pyrus spin, and I have like a lot of bullet. A lot of people say that Blaze has the best control gameplay of the game. I can barely hear the voice that's talking, but he sounded vaguely German. <laughs> oh god, it's the German scientist from the comics. <laughs> Where am I going? I guess here we'll do. Jump off and you're oh, she has a homing attack. She moves faster than silver. Stop spinning, please. Oh, I guess I killed them. Yeah, that's not powerful. Come on. Come on, break open. Come on. You know you don't wow. have to kill everything you see. I'm just trying to get the box. There, I gotta crash spin it. Crash spin opens crates. Stop. Stop fucking about. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, that's I'm trying not to that's give him shit. Give this game. Okay, well that, oh, that no. Said. No. <laughs> that's one of the funniest Frames. clips. <laughs> As we all know, Jack is at his most hilarious when he's pissed. <laughs> that being said, I, I have nowhere where I can talk anymore considering I kept asking that guy what day it, what day it is uh, in, in the way out. Got a good question for you. What day is it? It did turn up. It did turn out to be the solution. Yeah, but I just, I just thought it was so hilarious. Oh, what hilarious. day is it? <laughs> Did you just ask me this question? No. What? Oh, part three. <laughs> I don't know, no. man. You lose track of that shit in here. Who hey. am I? <laughs> just bullying a poor dude with like with like a uh, poor short term memory. <laughs> so so Sonic 06. 
I like how we call it Sonic 06, despite the fact that it's called Sonic the Hedgehog. I couldn't find it on Twitch. Well, because there's no other way to differentiate it. The Twitch yeah, category a, is just Genesis Sonic. Yeah. Wait, Twitch, Twitch calls it Sonic 06? Well, no, I, there, there wasn't an entry no. that I could find for it on Twitch. They don't want people to Twitch. play it. No, Twitch doesn't acknowledge that this game exists. <laughs> they don't want this game to exist, but you know what? That's cool. <laughs> this game... This is like one of those fun bad games. You have to destroy enemies, though. The game can't keep up otherwise. This, no, it makes it easier. It's this easier. game is... This game is like a prime Ow. example of why rushing for the holidays is a very stupid idea. This game is an example of why rushing for any kind of like, deadline. This and Cyberpunk yeah, yeah, yeah. is like, is like, are like the examples of why crunch is just a bad idea. A rushed game but is like, forever bad. Yeah. Actually, I will say- I But like holidays Cyberpunk. especially. Cause like you're wanting to cash in cause it's Christmas, right? But like, <laughs> yeah. No, like, uh, I would say that people will buy games forever. Like, wait, so yeah. your game comes out in January? Oh, I guess the parents need to buy it for their kids. Your, your, your fucking Sega Sonic Adventure One and Two did wonderfully. <laughs> And I'm assuming Sonic Heroes sold very well as well. Like, just put it out when it's ready. How do you get D's in this game? We got at least one, didn't we? Hey, sir, I've noticed a couple of uh, of bugs here. Uh, namely. <laughs> Namely, with, uh, you know, wall glitches and stuff. The game shifts tomorrow. Sorry, what? <laughs> Sora? Comes in... God, the executive <laughs> comes in three months early. Fuck it, boys, ship it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's not ready. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hey, look, it's a endless... Oh, is that it? It's just a bigger version of the little things. He's Diablo. No, it's Diablo! It's Chaos, but pretty Fire. Sure this is... No, I'm pretty sure this is Sonic's version of Satan. Yeah, that's what I got gathered from I am what Satan. I know. Satan, 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 Satan. Are we fighting this thing? Brah. <laughs> what do you think? Should we call it after we beat up Satan? <laughs> we got a lot I, of. I, we I, got a long I, I, I was really hoping. I was really hoping we would get to Memphis, Tennessee's introduction. <laughs> How far away is that? Are you, is that a reference? It's right to after the this fucking, cutscene. Uh, to the fucking dub. It's right after this boss. Did they call him that in the redub? Uh, yeah, in the, in the fucking redub, they called him Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, they yeah. Said, they also said that, uh, that he, he, he plays Fortnite. <laughs> that was a big running gag. Was like... As a gamer, I don't get respect. <laughs> Ow. I don't have any. I have friends. That just makes you a beta cuck. <laughs> that was funny. It's so good! Alright, where are we dropping, It's one of the boys? best ones. Have his weak spot is his armor. Two? Not yet. Is it the oh, old one or so the new good. one? Oh, it's so good. The new one. Okay. The remake. It's so funny. I pissed my pants laughing. <laughs> Kinda hard to avoid a building falling on you. Just run to the left and right, like more. Just run out run out of the shadow, yeah. 
But we haven't seen him yet. Also, if you run out of debris, don't worry about it. He'll just throw more at you. Where'd my rock go? He's got a building run. Oh. Whoops. Go! Oh, throw! Yeah, you're a bit behind. Is he not throwing it? Uh, he didn't throw it when I wanted him to. And it just disappeared. No, you threw it. Trolls are wonky. It didn't hit anything. You were hitting him before. That's because he's covering his face. Yeah. No, ah! Ah, God, come on, man, that's my face! <laughs> oh, God. How am I supposed to be on the cover of, of Devil Magazine? <laughs> Do you think in the continuity where uh, Shadow and Black Doom did work together, maybe you could help out with this? Get, like, an alien army fighting Iblis? He's got a building. Black, Black Doom and Shadow don't like each other, though. Wasn't there like bad endings where they work together or something? Oh, you, oh, endings. you're talking about the you're talking about the alternate endings. Okay, yeah, probably. I will destroy this planet. I'm going to destroy this damn planet. <laughs> That's what I, have. Then I love when he does an evil laugh. It's so stupid. <laughs> he has a building. Oh shit! He's he's got a condo. <laughs> How many buildings does he have? By the way, I just realized. I, I mean, just, there's. Uh... I love so... how he doesn't pull buildings from the background. He pulls them out of the lava. He's reusing, he's recycling. Is it over? Oh, he looks so gross without any armor on. <laughs> uh... Again, it's just it lava like... chaos. It's just... It looks disgusting. I'm reminded of, uh, of, like, like, a, like a fiery version of uh, one fighter from Killer Instinct. Glacius, I think his, uh, his name was. No, he used Flamethrower. <laughs> How many hands does he have? It seems like he has, like, like four. He has four. Got four arms. Pretty sure this is Galarian Machamp. <laughs> is he naturally that big, or is he just uh, he's Gigantamax? He Dynamax. Sorry, not Dynamax. Firefighting. Excuse, excuse me for not using technical terms. <laughs> oh shit. Get coin. He's using flamethrower. This is bullshit. <laughs> But isn't Psychic strong? Oh, wait, no. No, that's neutral. <laughs> this Spice? boss battle kind of sucks. It's not the best. Like, you're just tossing stuff and maybe it will hit. Maybe it won't. It has, it has to hit his face is what it is. How did he throw all those rocks and only one of them landed? Because you, because you ran out of the way. This is a boss that's easily bested by just running back and forth, like, like you're fucking powered up to your own. Fucking... I don't want to say this, but this reminds me of the first boss from Near Automata. I can, see, I can see it. You were stuck on a platform during that boss too. Oh, is this fight gonna end with the, with uh, Silver and Blaze detonating? Themselves. He doesn't even aim for you. He just smashes the building in front of him. Which leads me to believe that he's not the villain. Like the big bad. No, that's Memphis. He's... He's the big bad in the sense that, like, he's the evil that... 
is the biggest problem. But Memphis, Tennessee is the From my limited antagonist. understanding, Me Mephilus is like this, a, this a thing, part of, of Iblis or something. I don't want you, yeah, I don't want to be corrected. Yeah, thing, I'll find out. Yeah. Did it just freeze for you? Okay, now I'm fine. I don't think... I just stuttered. I, I don't think uh, Iblis has sentience. Like, it's just an evil creature. Yeah, drop your thing on nothing. Here, I'll come a little closer for you. Like, Iblis isn't smart or anything. Clearly. Look at this shit. <laughs> Duh, Clearly. why didn't I hit him? Duh. Get why are you going down there? This fight. Maybe you have to jump. There you go. Oh, yeah. His neck that didn't count. This, this is fucking keeps leaning back. This fucking Fine. Oh, no, another one? Okay, we're fine. Oh, finally. <laughs> now we can like... meet Memphis. Memphis. Now, what will he sound like? Will he be deep and scary? No, he'll also, I think there's something to do with him, like, possessing Shadow or choosing to take his form or something. I'm sure you'll know exactly who the actor is as soon as you hear it. Cool, we did it. We saved the, um... I'm, I'm surprised uh, you haven't seen one peak of footage from this all these years, to be honest. Nope. When he did I mean, I know about... I know about the kiss scene. Yeah. Just, how could you not hear about a scene as cliche as that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The, the hero Obviously, dead, should, or... she should have cried over him and brought him back from being a stone statue is how it should have ended. Oh, of course. Cause, cause why not? <laughs> no, yeah, that's no, how it works Elise in real Sonic life. The Pokemon to... movie taught me that. Elise and Sonic would have to fuse to become uh, to become Angel Sonic, and then and then that's how you kick <laughs> the main villain's ass. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how relationships work in Steven Universe. You fuse. Elisic. Elisic, the, the, the fallen. So we, <laughs> what powers does Elise bring to that? She's got like psychic Fire. powers, right? She she can... it for now. Thank you, Fire. please. Wait a minute. She's got the same kind of green energy shit that Silver has. Who, oh, Elise? Yeah. No, she doesn't. Is, is she has red energy. Is Silver, is Silver like uh, the descendant of Sonic and Elise? Nah. No. I don't oh. believe that. Shadow uh, he... Shadow seems more plausible. Oh. Just as okay. a flower comes from a seed, or a chicken comes from an egg. Is that Dan Green again? Yes. You need to find but he's already Knuckles. Responsible for this catastrophe. Yes, but now he's Memphis. Is that really the answer to our problem? <laughs> Tell me. I don't no, think Mephilus or Knuckles interact once. Yeah. Has anyone ever seen them in the same place at the same time? Hmm. Kinda? <laughs> you seem trustworthy. Memphis, what happened to your mouth? <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I, I sewed it shut to gain a, to gain a memorable psychic power. But people already accuse Sonic, or, or they accuse Shadow of being like a, a rip-off, lazy design. No way! Yeah, this is very clearly a last minute, like, oh, we don't have time to give him an original design. This is a recolor. This is a sprite edit. They didn't even have time to give him a mouth. There, there is an explanation later. But like, there there would have to be. You can't just have a beast shadow in it for no reason. It's still kind of an odd story yeah. choice. 
I guess it's a way to fit Shadow into the plot somehow, because otherwise he wouldn't really be as involved yeah, as the why, other two. Why Why would he have anything to do with this, <laughs> you know? I'm an elite alpha gamer. And you have this person. <laughs> it's all that fake hedgehog's women, doing. Don't... These women don't treat you like a person. They treat you like an item. <laughs> I see it. Oh, okay. Why is Sonic wreathed in flames? No, Silver. It was all. Why do you say this? If this is a prerequisite to Sonic Rush, why did you say that? That Sonic was the Iblis trigger? No. He says. Mephilus uh, says that, and then Silver says, that Blue Hedgehog is the Iblis trigger, and Blaze says, Huh. Blue Hedgehog. Oh, like she recognizes As if him? she knows. Yeah, this is Nudge supposed that. to be a prerequisite. It was Nudge later. Nudge it was later decanonized, but this was supposed to be. So hmm. why would she say that? Wow, this place doesn't look all fucked up. This is weird. Please? Where's all the lava? Where's all the This scene buildings? would be a lot more powerful Please? if they put more focus on it. I guess we yeah. got separate. She's like, what is grass? This is, this is this is the first time he's seeing any any like nature. This like man, everything doesn't smell like fucking sulfur. Everything smells kind of sweet. That's all you have to say, Silver. Huh? This is nice. Oh well. What is that? Is that a tree? I must fight for the future. Cell takes trunks not, to the. Not. Not. Who cares? Cell takes trunks <laughs> to the past and says, "Goku did it." <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Imagine. <laughs> uh, why don't we have more of like Silver looking around like, what is this? What is that? Where are you? Are you a human? What's a human? I think, I think there is a later scene, uh, but it's way later, so it doesn't feel genuine. What is this? This looks like the the place from Dot Hack Sign. This looks like an MMORPG. <laughs> this entire game does, yes. Like, with all its, like, like vague. What's with all this the- This is the they... final boss area. <laughs> What's with all these people in a random canyon? Are they all camping? No, they're, they're all tourists. Yeah, oh, they're, the they're nature walkers. Why, why would I need this explained to me? It's not like I can play this story first. Well, you know, in case you forget. You wanna know? Maybe the Iblis Trigger is hiding up ahead. Iblis Trigger? Where? <laughs> I'm triggered! Excuse me, I'm looking for the Iblis Trigger. I wonder where What'd that you say? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, what about the Iblis Trigger? Well, I'll go as long as you guys want to, I suppose. Hey. Rib roast? I, I can... think I saw someone at the butcher. I can stay for another 30 minutes. Alright, yeah, five minutes work on it. Okay, it's, it, I, I miss Sonic. Why would you give I, the biggest I run- miss... The biggest, emptiest running area to silver? I think Sonic comes here later, so... I miss- <laughs> I miss having normal Sonic. <laughs> With him and his, like, fucking janky ass, like, running. <laughs> Can't he just do the Sephiroth and just, like, glide along the ground? Man, this new generation of Sonic is bullshit. We should return Sonic to his true form. The rabbit Mr. Needlemouse. <laughs> Larry King, what are you doing here? He is Larry King. <laughs> Literally just Oh we got a mission. What what am I doing here? <laughs> it's the Royal what Training is all this? Ground. How did I get here? 
They got him in the B movie. I'm pretty sure he'll do anything. Uh, Featuring B. Also... Larry King as B. Larry King. Didn't they also have my like... my daughter? My daughter told me to vacation here. I don't I don't understand. <laughs> it's pretty it's good. Just Italy. It's all just Italy. <laughs> Thank you, guard. Thank Pudding. you very much. Again. It's a Superman 64. <laughs> that was another game that got like that got screwed in, in development. They're like, hey, we want to do this kind of stuff, and then the comic book like DC was like, no, you can't do this. You can't do this. We don't actually want you. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man pizza delivery theme intense spice. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you, you couldn't glide in time. Uh oh. That's fine. No, it's fine. Why no glide, Silver? I gotta press X twice there for some reason. X. X. Uh oh. Well, this is going Fuck. swimmingly. That's no, there's no way that's gonna work anymore. <laughs> They're not gonna read. Like, I think you're just fucked. No, he's fine. Okay. Oh shit! There's more. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, you made it. <laughs> oh, you just made it. Hey. hey. Please hey. join the Solian and Guards. I am Silver, head of the Soliana and Guards. So is that, is, does that town name have anything to do with the Soul Dimension? What? Is that why? That's... That would have been interesting, but they changed it. What was the game where Sonic fought a genie? Is that Secret Sonic Rings? Secret Rings. Yeah. I think it was Secret Rings, yeah. Which was also for a week. He fought, he fought a genie, and then he was also followed around by a genie that uh, may have had the hots for him, also. That oh, was, Shantae? Uh, yeah, Shantae, in, in, the, in the Sonic game. <laughs> I don't remember her name at all. Shara? I think it was Shara. Shantae. <laughs> No! <laughs> no, they're just ripped off. No, Shara. you're Shanta just wrong! Shara. Uh, Sonic no, and the Secret Rings wrong. was only on Wii. There was a period of time where Nintendo had to have its own totally sole proprietary Sonic games. While the other games were on yeah, all there's... the other systems. Yeah. Which might have been for the best, because the Wii didn't get Sonic 06. They missed out on this game. <laughs> and that's... So, and the Secret Rings is the game where Sonic uh, says all the powers of hell. Does he say that? Does he get all yeah, the powers he does. of hell? He becomes he becomes anti Sonic. <laughs> he he picks up some evil ring or something that's one of the seven, and he's like, "Man, this this feels really evil. It's like I'm I feel the powers of hell." <laughs> and I'm like, "Whoa, Sonic, calm down." <laughs> It's called Hifl, the home for infinite losers. <laughs> Powers of Hifl. Oh, that short was so funny. <laughs> oh, the recent Team Four Star one. Yeah, I saw that. Remember when? Remember when Sonic like got a bunch of fake emeralds and turned into Dark Sonic for one scene, and it never came up again. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, yeah, in season Eggman three. Because Eggman told him, hey, you gotta chill out, man. You gotta stop that shit. It's not good for you. Because one of the, um... The Metarex. The Metarex 
uh, beat the shit out of Cosmo and knocked Chris unconscious. And he and like Shadow he tried was, to like, do. Super pissed. Yeah, he was super pissed. That episode where Tails is like, uh, doing all that shit by himself to keep Cosmo away from Shadow was like so good. Yeah, they, him and it was like Tails and Chris running from Shadow the whole episode, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Man, I liked I liked Shadow in uh in Sonic X. He was not like angsty. He was just kind of like ultra professional, just like. Yeah, I'll do it. He's a man of actions and not words. He's my favorite. He's my favorite incarnation because you can never tell what he's thinking ever. Not, not at all. I, like I he's can a tell complete you he's closed thinking. book. Yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> yada yada does he? But like, he's always just like so unreadable and unapproachable. It's great. Uh, Are we really just doing mini games? I guess. How do, how do I put in barrel? Do I throw them? Go. I don't think you can put in barrel. Isn't that the goal? Can you? What am I can doing with these apples? Barrel? Is there a hole in barrel? Did you not read the instructions? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it'd be no. obvious. No. Why would he do that? See, you're, you're assuming that from Jack. Sonic 06. I didn't. I didn't Jack. do the tutorials. Jack. I don't know what I'm doing. This game sucks. Fuck this game. Jack, <laughs> why? Like why journalist. would Zelrog? Jack, why would Zelrog ever read instructions? Why would he do that? I'm good. I don't need don't to do need that to guy's farm work. Yeah, I don't think you need to be doing any of this. Where's the I city? think this is close to the level where you should be going to. There's like a sacred temple or something. Okay. Hey, try Part of a school bus shop. here. Talk to the, uh, talk to the... Oh, Sorry. it's a shop. Yes. Why you use Whoa. hold smash? Power bracelet! Uh, okay. Well, I can buy both. Buy it, do it. So, in the Archie comics, I remember those uh, bracelets around Silver's wrists were explained to be um, prison lock cuffs that help the government identify you and track you. Okay. Oh, okay. Like yeah. the future government? Yeah, it was in a comic arc where it was a timeline where Silver's home wasn't fucked and destroyed, and it's oh, called was... Onyx City, was and it's ruled by a council of people that uh, have, uh, basically, if you're, like, a worker, it's like a communist society, I guess, where, like, you have to wear those cuffs if you're a worker. Oh, no. So, so, yeah. it, so one timeline, his city gets destroyed by Iblis and he's sad about it. another timeline and he's in a fucking like combine hellscape man he just can't yeah. catch a break yeah. he's so, like, man, oh, man my city was, would have been better off destroyed yeah like several several of the characters are seen with the exact same wristlets and it's it's pretty it's pretty dark so in the yeah. comics they go with the like the alternate future not the other dimension story they do. They do several things in the comics. Honestly, I mean, with silver uh, specifically. I just know that. Yeah, I just know that's one timeline that they went that they went with, and he meets a character named Gold, uh, because why not? <laughs> there, Gold Roger. <laughs> nope, can't walk there. God. No, <laughs> not allowed. Wonder what this pillar is. You were near is. where you were supposed to be before. I was. Well, I don't know. I'm just following a wall now. <laughs> just follow a moose. They're always going somewhere nice. <laughs> oh, here we are. All right, I think he's going the right way now. I shouldn't go over there just yet. Fuck you. I do what I want. Mm -hmm. I saw a really, really no, big bird. 
No, kitty. It's a bad kitty. <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> I found a coin. That's that's cool. Can you pick that one up? There you go. T call. Are you in here? I wish. I wish. <laughs> what happens to them? They just kind of... Tikal and Chaos just kind of wander off, and they're not seen again. Like, they're still I mean, around, I guess right? That makes sense be I guess that makes sense, because Tikal died, like, 300 years in the past. Like, what reason would they have to bring her back for anything? And, sh and Chaos only shows back up in, like, fucking, uh... In, I like, imagine Chaos... Yeah, I imagine Sonic Chaos Blast. is just chilling out. Yeah. I mean, she didn't like fade imagine... away into particles at the end of the game. They just kind of walked off, didn't they? She was dead no, the they... entire time. No, no, they do. They do. Um, after uh, he reverts back to Chaos Zero, to call lifts him up, and there's a flash of light, and then they're gone. Oh, okay. I forgot. Uh, I imagine Chaos is just in the chow garden somewhere, still doing his job. Just, you know, be in water. Be in water. <laughs> there was, there was a, uh, very bad comic arc that came after the Ken Pender situation. Uh, I think it was the 30 Years Later arc. And in that, t Call and Chaos were fused into one being. Oh. That, uh, were thirsting for Chaos energy so much. That, like, if you fed them too much of it, it became perfect chaos. But okay. her, but it wasn't called... It wasn't called chaos, it was called T-Chaos. Of course it was. It was very weird. Yeah. And Shadow uses that to destroy, uh... Uh... I don't know where it is. It's some kingdom or something. Because he's trying to kill Sonic in that arc, because apparently... And I'm not making this up. Uh, the start of the arc establishes that Shadow married Sally Acorn, divorced her after uh, she started disagreeing with his very violent war regiments, and then she married Sonic, and now Shadow's back and trying to kill Sonic because uh, he married his ex-wife. Why does this sound like a fan fiction? <laughs> I, I, right, right, yeah, right. It's just like... And this whole arc was used just to get rid of all of the characters that Ken Penders owns because of the lawsuit. That's probably why it's this bad. I have no idea how to get back to where I was. Well, that, well, isn't it in the future? No wonder. <laughs> yeah, it's Does... thirty. it says 30 years later and Sonic has two children. And Shadow literally erases Sonic's children from existence. And they're never revived, never brought back, ever. He's just so misunderstood. Basically, so basically, in the Archie, Sonic, Archie comics, Sonic has children that are canonically dead. Like, Shadow canonically killed his children. And do they still, like, work together after that point? I think so. And it's very weird. I don't know why you would ever talk to him after that. Maybe it was like, it was like, that was an alternate future and that never comes to pass, and then they're like, hey, Shadow, let's make it so Oh, wait, no, no, no. Be. No, I remember now. They erased their memories of everyone that got deleted from the timeline. Oh, of course. Oh, that's what happened. Including Because Sally. I remember Julie, because I remember Julie Sue, Knuckles' girlfriend, is one of the characters that Ken Penders claimed to and they had to get rid of in that arc. So, they just erase their memories completely. Does that include Shadow? Does he not remember it's... what he did? Yep. Oh, he gets boy. off scot-free for killing two children. <laughs> also, he has a bunch of henchmen working for him that tried to nuke Sonic and his family during a, a political speech. Oh, okay. He tries what, to Sonic? assassinate a royal family. <laughs> Wait, who is delivering a political speech? Sonic? Yeah. Yeah, because he's king, I guess. Yeah, he's king. Wait, how'd, how'd I lose my goal? Like, 
You see the the bar on the bottom right? I know, but I landed and then jumped a second time. You didn't. You didn't. Uh, you didn't you let it you recharge. You have to wait for it to recharge. <sighs> But yeah, the 30 Years Later arc is, like, one of the worst fucking arcs in the comics. And it exists only to erase the Ken Penders characters. Would you say it's the, uh, it's the, uh, one more day of I was Sonic just Earth? about to ask about that. I was, how, how does it compare probably, to Spider-Man? It's pro yeah, it's probably definitely that bad. It's, it's... I mean... Okay, no, not that bad, because... <laughs> Shadow... Shadow was already kind of a dick. And, you know, they don't demonize any protagonists. It's just, like... It just exists, uh, out of a lawsuit, and that's it. It's good to have reboots whole... for comics every now and again. Yeah, sometimes... The whole but... arc is just asinine. And, like, they want me to forget that Shadow murdered two children, and they want me to- want me to be like, that's fine, because he doesn't remember it. Like, no. <laughs> he murdered two children! <laughs> nah, it's- don't worry about it. <laughs> What's even more drawing about that arc is it comes after an issue of the comics that ended with, uh, Shadow talking to Holly Kintobor, who is basically just, oh, who's basically just the new Maria at this point. Okay. Uh, Does she last longer than the just, first two? They don't say, ever. They don't say what happened to her, and it just cuts to 30 years later, and it cuts to a news report talking about how Shadow's all evil and shit. Oh, and okay. they don't explain where she went, what happened to her, they don't explain any of that. Of course they can't. Yeah. So yeah, not a fan of that one. But it is pretty funny to talk about uh, when whenever someone doesn't know about it. <laughs> because it's it's the most fan fiction possible arc you could find in the comics. Somebody who really hates Shadow is like, hey, how about we just have him like kill like, I mean, uh, his... Uh... Vegeta did murder, murder like... children. Vegeta murdered like 50 people after he reformed. But it's okay, they brought them back with Dragon Balls. Yeah. See, that, so that's what Sonic first doesn't have is Dragon Balls. It's just... it's just... Like, he targeted the children specifically. Like, he wanted them to die. Yeah, it wasn't like... <laughs> it wasn't like he was crazy. Cause that's his ex-wife. Cause that's his ex-wife. <laughs> so, like... Ugh. The character Fucking assassination crazy. doesn't even begin. <laughs> I hate it when that happens, when you're just like, hey, how about we just have him be, like, a completely different character for no reason? How about we have him be, uh, evil cunt? <laughs> yeah, What's Metal cool. Sonic doing? Uh-oh! I have no idea. Whoa, whoa, I'm good. whoa. good. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, kill, hit, throw, use! Oh, I need ammo. Are you ammo? You are. Oh yeah, also Sonic's children are named after his siblings from the Underground cartoon. Of course they are. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't get because those characters don't exist in the Archie comics ever. Yeah, it's just, I don't it's believe. just, a, nice, it's just a nice little uh, character reference. That being said, uh, in terms of, like, which family is better, I like Bernadette, his mom Bernadette, and his dad Jules a lot more than I like Queen Alina. Because the idea that uh, Jules is the original Metal Sonic is very interesting. How come I'm not regaining my... Oh, I was still holding the thing. Slow motion activate. <laughs> this looks fun. Doesn't this look fun? I, I cannot no. levitate and and hold at the same time. Why are there always giant turtles hanging around in the Sonic universe? This is 
because they're just giant everything. They're in Sonic Heroes. I believe there's one in Sonic Adventure 2 that's like not this big, but like pretty huge. There were giant frogs in Sonic Heroes. Or was that Sonic yeah, Adventure? Yeah, what was with that? <laughs> they were just repurposed models of Froggy with the Chaos Tail taken off. There you go. Were they? The giant ones that caused rain? I think... Yeah, I think they were. Turtle. Turtle. So, uh, Jack, you'll be happy to know that uh, the Turtle Club has experienced a revival since uh, Vinny decided to meme it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. So now more people have been introduced to the Turtle Club. The turtle Club. Which means more people are going to watch Master of Disguise. Of course they are. Dana Carvey's career has never recovered from that movie. No. This is a shame. I think, I think he was one of the better parts of the movie of just playing all these different characters. He had a good he had a good run on like SNL. He was doing well in general until that happened. Yeah. Uh oh. It's okay, I'm faster than a turtle. Uh, hmm. Should I have gone up there, maybe? Uh, again, I don't know. I've, I've never played. I haven't seen this. I, I can't before. do anything to these guys without ammo. <laughs> I can't lift them for some reason. I, I knew as soon as I saw you that you have a little winner and tiny nuts. I got Jack to watch that movie, and one, once was enough for him. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the Nostalgia Critic review of it. Oh gosh, is he still doing stuff? It's an old review, I think, okay. but yeah, he's still doing stuff. Oh man, I remember when he tanked his fucking reputation after he did the, the, review, the fucking wall review. Yeah, and now it's just unbearable. <laughs> it, was, it was unbearable for a while before that, I think, but, you know, that's, that's just the nature of uh, old-school internet reviews. I think I think the change the channel situation kind of broke down a lot <laughs> Yeah, the, from the inside. When, when people are like, wait a minute, this is actually, like, a really bad fucking... They still haven't. They still haven't said anything. They never will. Like, they never. No, they never, no, they never will. I they hope this will. is the way I'm supposed to go. I'm pretty sure it is. Just, just keep going. There's supposed to be a turtle around here. Uh oh. Only if, only if you see a fruit dangling in the air. Oh, there's a turtle. I, I guess I need him. I see. No, I got that checkpoint already. Hello. Hello, Goo Kipo. Kipu? I don't know how to pronounce that. We got people wandering in for the end of the stream. <laughs> yeah, you, you were going for a while. Man, if only we had the time to go for like nine hours, we could totally just, just like get a chunk of this game done. I, I wish I could, but I gotta do stuff when my mom gets home. How come turtle no go? I just, I just had an absurd amount of time yesterday. Come here, turtle. He didn't even catch the fruit. He could... What is that? Now the scent is what drives them upwards. It's shiny, but it is nothing. No, you can grab onto that. It's a swinging thing. Ooh. Mm, crusty it frames. never looks like you, it never looks like you would be able to make it. 
I wish I could go up. Goes up. <laughs> How can I go up? Oh wait. It is satisfying to just smash things into people or into robots. How does my thing? How does my thing go up? Uh oh. Uh oh. There's oh, a robot no, corpse in there. You woke. You've awoken Godzilla. <laughs> I know it wants me to use the lily bab lily pads, but why should I? It's lily bab. It's dangerous. <laughs> no thanks. Danger. Wait, are they throwing stuff? <laughs> just people just chucking stuff at each other. Hmm. By the way, you can stand on them. Yeah. You can stand on a thing and levitate it, and it'll pull you up. Oh. If I can hit ball. Yeah. No, you don't need to. You just, oh. just keep going. Are you sure? I think I I've been that way before. I don't think you can beget progress otherwise. I need to hit the ball. Did hit I not hit ball. it? No. Where go? What do? Ah! Oh. Ah! Did you get it? <laughs> no. Maybe... Where are we? <laughs> well, I assumed riding this thing would, like, hit the ball, but no, it, it doesn't seem to. Also, the camera's facing this way for some unknown reason. Is it because you're, you're turned that direction? No, I, I, it doesn't matter which way I face when I do it. I've tried oh, starting oh, with no. both ways. No. No. Uh, uh -oh. I love how I, I love how characters in these games uh, react to death. Or like falling in water. Oh, there you go. Where? Look down, they please. Just scream. No, it's automatic. It's on a. It's on a rail. I don't trust it. Oh, you didn't have any rings. <laughs> I did not have any rings. Well, uh, you didn't have rings. Uh, this level seems like it's just. Hey, let's make let's make all of Silver's levels main, like mazes. Wait, what? Open. Give me ring. Mmm. Eat rang. No, I, that's good, but I need rang. Eight rang. <laughs> I got spurs that ring go rang. Oh, okay, it goes to the right. Just, just go that way. I did that last time and I got shot. Go quicker. Uh... Sweet rang. <laughs> well, now what? Uh, I guess I I'm think going gotta... that way. Yeah, I think <gasps> up here is where progress is. Oh! Oh no! 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 Oh. Darn. That happened to me all day yesterday playing Balan. I kept falling right back to the start of the level, like, constantly. <laughs> Give me a- one ring! After a checkpoint, please!
just hide behind the box. Doesn't help that there's weird lag. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know what that here. is. I mean, I know what it is. I it's the game not being optimized. No, I think it's the engine being overloaded because if there's too many things on screen at once, it, it can't handle it. Yeah, that's called the engine not being optimized. Yeah. Hello, what are you? Don't care. Uh... <laughs> Turn off the slow-mo, Blaze! <laughs> Can I hit this ball? I tried this earlier and it didn't work. There we go. What the f oh my god. <laughs> I yeeted it. sent that shit flying. Throw the shit. That's how oh! Well, ah! Gee, ah! Get him, ball! <laughs> you can use the ball! Oh, I can use the downed enemy. Whoa. Oh, I forgot about that. You can. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, because Silver, like, in terms of, like, the power scale, Sonic is, like, one of the most powerful fucking people in this canon. Now, hey, we're finally done with this level. That did not look fun at all. I like how he does a JoJo no. pose. <laughs> Seneku! <laughs> <laughs> Is that water, though? <laughs> we have all we have all the relevant Joe stars. We have uh, Joseph as Sonic. He's the wacky one. We got Jotaro as, as Shadow. He's the edgy one. And I guess Giorno can Who's be uh, silver, because he's fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. And overpowered. Yes. Is Amy Jolene? Uh, sure. We, we haven't gotten to her yet. <laughs> okay, well, let's save. So that seems like a good time to stop. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. sounds like... We were, this is... Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know it's gone too long <laughs> yeah. when even Saucy's like, oh, thank God it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I I just, my throat, <laughs> it hurts so much. Not now, Blaze, we're yeah. done with you. We'll come back to you next time. And, uh, Shut I'll up, have to, Blaze, no one cares. <laughs> I'll have to catch up on Sonic's story because we, we missed a big chunk of it. We went back a ways. Yeah. Uh, we did get some people, though, so that was nice. Thanks for tuning in, those of you who came to watch. Check out our YouTube channel. And... We'll be back to this, I guess, next time we all have the day off. Yep. See you next time. See you around.